gentlemen, the show is about to start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, another Cynthia Roth Rockathon uh, watch along. And today um, we're watching the 19 or the 92 93 uh, martial arts classic Undefeatable directed by the infamous Godfrey Ho, starring Cynthia Wafrock. And I'm not alone on this one. I got a fantastic uh, guest lined up and uh, he's about ready. I'm, I think I hear him knocking on the door. He's in the green room right now. Uh, let's let our guest in and welcome him, on, welcome him back on the show. He was previously on our um, Death Wish 2 stream during our Bronson month. Here he is, backed by popular demand, Matt from Puckwall 316. Let's hear from Matt, everybody. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Thanks for letting me in. I've been knocking for ages. What's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, in that I, was... I was in that green room. <laughs> I thought it was more school, more school for a second. But, uh... <laughs> I was doing, I was doing, practicing my um, stingray. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, listening to yeah. some uh, scorpions. One of the first bands I ever saw live as well, scorpions. So oh, yeah, awesome. that's awesome, man. Yeah. That's cool, and let's bring our third guest in, our unofficial guest, the uh, the TV with the with the movie right <laughs> yeah. there. Very, very small for copyright purposes because I have the the 4K, and if I have that any bigger, it's gonna really come up well on the camera. So uh, yeah. it's too good. Yeah, I, I mine mine probably isn't, but I'm not watching this actually. I'm watching it on YouTube. Um, yes, because we should mention it is free to watch on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I'm and I had the link for it, but uh, in your chat, you have dropped the link. Uh, so go to Matt's uh, channel if you want the link to the, uh, uh, to the film on YouTube. I forgot to drop it in my chat, but there it is. Uh, I can put it in yours as well. I'll put it in. I'll, I'll copy it into yours as well, Jeff. Oh, yeah, I'll ask me because I don't have any of my devices ready at the moment. So oh, let's um, go. No problem. Let's see. We had a comment by Larry. I did see it, uh, but StreamYard, uh, it's gone. So we only have oh, your how strange. Uh, comment in response to that. Yeah. One oh, I know it's gonna take me ages because I'm just like Homer typing, so um, <laughs> I mean, like trying to, yeah. So I've copied it into your chat now, either that or it's a completely different film, but I guess that's part of the excitement. <laughs> um, <laughs> could be anything, <laughs> and we have some yeah. more people in your chat. Uh, Chi White, hope I pronounced that right. Ah, cool, uh, welcome, H. awesome. Uh, the bot files also in your um your chat hey bud thanks for sharing for sharing things out as well thank you good evening and thanks for joining us yeah indeed and she why you saying i've undefeatable on dvd as well yeah nice awesome but again for those that haven't it's on youtube to watch <laughs> and gareth is here also in your channel he's saying back off bronson <laughs> <laughs> whoa he's coming in coming in hot <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is why we're nemesis is because of uh, Cynthia. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. There can only be one. <laughs> Much like Highlanders, there can only be one ultimate <laughs> Roth Rock fan. Yeah. Well, he's interviewed her, the, the lucky sod. I only have. I know. I only have her autograph, which is still cool. But <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's not a competition. It's like I say, love's not a competition, but I'm winning. Um, <laughs> I, I was looking at Gareth's um, casual horror fan T-shirt earlier on. I was I was debating getting a casual horror fan T-shirt oh, yeah. uh, to, to go with my uh, my Rob's vintage video T-shirt, which I uh, which arrived Ooh, today. Yeah, awesome. I, I really like that design. It's Representing cool. Rob, there you go. Yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, I've got a. I want I want to get my Warner One Bronson T-shirt sorted out soon as well. With we'll a, get on that <laughs> <laughs> with a picture of uh, Godfrey Ho on the front of it. <laughs> there you go. That's an idea. The picture of him going, you're a hoe. <laughs> you're a hoe. <laughs> so yeah, oh, that's a good for, point, God actually, as we are, of course, watching one of his films. Um, how many of his films have you seen besides this one? Because <laughs> he's done a lot of, uh, well, in some ways, legendary sort of called B-movies. <laughs> um, 
Oh man. Well, we were talking before um we started, weren't we? We were saying about how the like films being renamed and mm. uh, different markets and things like that. So I get I, I definitely seen the Ninja Squad. That was on a, a like a like a one pound, like a, a pound shop or I guess in America Dollar Tree. What 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 what's your equivalent of like um pound shop? Uh Euro shop? Uh yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Like um that was one of those. Did he do the Ninja Kids series of films, or am I thinking of somebody else? I think he's done some Ninja stuff for sure. Yeah, he's done a. He's definitely done a lot of work songs with uh, songs. He's done a lot of songs. He's an excellent artist. Um, yeah. <laughs> of all his albums, <laughs> yeah, a lot of films with Ninja in the title just to confuse me. Obviously, that's why I'm wearing my. Uh, yeah. I don't just. I don't just always wear this on a uh, on a Saturday night. Um, sometimes I just wear this on a Saturday night. Um, <laughs> You're going to yeah. perform any special gigs then? Yeah, I'll 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 do them all. Um, exactly, any <laughs> everything we see in the movie, I'll I'll do. There um, you go. What have we got? And so many. I can't believe how many films he's done with Ninja in the title. I wonder if he is the director who's done the most amount of films with Ninja in the title. That would be a good. That would be Could a good be. quiz quiz question. Because I'm seeing maybe I'm not I'm not kidding here. There's possibly <laughs> yeah. forty. <laughs> He, he he would definitely be up there for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the bad movie Bible did um, a ninja um, retrospective and went through loads of them, and Godfrey Ho's name came up, came up a lot. Mm. So yeah, but there's quite a lot in because because where, where this is going to be a stupid question, but where is, where was he from originally? Um, from Hong Kong. Pretty sure he's Asian. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. So. If he's yeah, so so a lot of his films will have been like you know made in Hong Kong and titled in Hong Kong. So like, I'm not quite sure. Probably they're just probably just yeah. And, and even as American and even as American films like this one, for example, he he did a different cut of it and released that version in in, in, in the Asian market. So right. there's an alternate version of this movie called um, what is it, Lady Killer or something? Or, Lady, to, yeah, Lady. I have to cheat now because uh, it's it's one of the free discs in the Vinegar Syndrome edition. You, you do get the alternate version in there. Um, oh, okay. Oh, there it is. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary Killer. That's the alternate title. Bloody Mary Killer. Yes. That, yeah. Alternate title, alternate version of the film, I should say. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if there's more or less Stingray in that. <laughs> I think it's less, and also unfortunately less of Cynthia. I think it's more with uh, oh the guy that's in this. Uh, no, not the guy that's in this. Um, I think he got Robin Chu, who was in Honor and Glory, which was another Cynthia film. Mm -hmm. And of course, he is Liu Kang in uh, the original Mortal Kombat film. Uh, I think he did he did some scenes for the alternate version. I think it's more his movie and and the Asian uh, version. Uh, that's what I remember anyway. It's been it's been a while, but I yeah. I, I always find that sometimes in um, in, in Cynthia Rothrock movies, it's quite frustrating how occasionally, and I, I'm trying to think of certain ones, it might be later, where they put her with um, like a man cop who's going to kind of do the brain work, you know, like the, <laughs> the thing, yeah. the, do the thinking. Um, and when when they just kind of let her be quite funny or you know think of stuff and do things that are kind of off her own bat she's much more it, it's usually a much better film i think that's why um oh, it's a guardian angel that's why i like that one um is it guardian angel or am i thinking of something else uh, oh man my, my brain is is out of it well, guardian angel was mostly her solo i mean she was sort of teamed up with a guy uh but he wasn't like Sort of a martial artist or whatever. You didn't. It wasn't a cop guy. Too. He, she was sort of the bodyguard to a rich. Yes. Uh, yeah. Sort of so it's guy. more a romantic, yeah. romantic comedy. It's, it's like her version. Of, attract. It's her version of the bodyguard, basically. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. That makes it. Yeah. Because yeah, he's he needs her, doesn't he? Like she's the dominant. Yeah. Yeah. Character and like she at first she just can't stand him and obviously. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't, I don't want. To, no spoilers, guys, but the film came out in 1994. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Uh, yeah, Che, why you saying Godfrey Ho directed and produced this film? He sure did. His fingerprints are all over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a hoe for show. 
uh, or should we say, because it's a different name, he always uses a pseudonym as well, we should add. Yeah. Uh, th this one is Godfrey Hall. Not Godfrey yeah, I've got Godfrey Hall the second on the back of mine. Is that what <laughs> the it's second, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever the Godfrey Hall the first is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they credit them correctly on the, on, on the 4K. It says Godfrey Hall, but I'm sure in the credits it's still going to say Godfrey Hall. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> looking like a lady T-Rex predating Uma Furman taking out the 88s. Well, <laughs> I think that's a reference <laughs> to your headband. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, we get some cool references. For, yeah, we do. Well, yeah. Cynthia Wofford is incredible. Absolutely. Yeah. No arguments there. No, definitely not. Otherwise, she will kick her ass. <laughs> <laughs> She's capable of it. So, yeah. Um, yeah for sure. Cynthia I think also looks yeah. like Michelle Rodriguez, friend of Kathleen Mary Griffin from Seinfeld. John Reese's nemesis comedian. Oh, that's a, wow. That comparison. is a matchup. Yeah. Yeah. It's a matchup for sure. Have you seen this? Is going off topic, but I was just thinking of sitcoms. Um, there's a new film coming out called Crazy House with Nick Frost. Um, I think it, it's 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 kind of set in a '90s sitcom, and then these kind of Russian mobsters come in to do the work on the house, mm. and um, then it all goes off like in a million insane directions, like really super violent and insane um alicia silverstone is going to be in it it's coming out or oh, it's out soon um nick frost from um uh sean of the dead and um yeah the the director is where are they where are these guys from oh they're dutch <laughs> oh wow <laughs> yeah come on man uh, <laughs> i should be telling you this no um apparently behind the uh the new kids Films, new kids turbo, ah, new yes. kids nitro. They're very okay, popular. So that's something I didn't know. Yeah, right. Is it like a jackass kind of thing? Well, it's uh, I don't know how, what sort of thing I should take as a comparison for that. It's, it basically deals with like these guys in a local town in the Netherlands who are like very um, lower social class. Let's say we're like very right. um, well. They they live on welfare and stuff, and they don't really do much besides drinking beer and just you know wreaking uh or causing uh mayhem and stuff all day uh okay. it, it's sort of I don't, I don't know if there's a, a uk or us or whatever comparison to it uh or if it's just its own crazy dutch thing but uh it's, it's an interest it's an interesting uh, pair of movies and originally it was a sketch show on uh one of the, one of the tv channels and then they it went very popular and it turned into a film or two films i should say yeah right oh well so yes yeah, so this is i guess the branching out a little bit with sort of American and English actors in there as yeah. well. Yeah. It sounds interesting though, because it's like set it starts off as like a sitcom and then um they turn out the Russian workers in the house turn out to be wanted criminals and then he has to save his family essentially. Um yeah it, I, I haven't heard of it but it sounds interesting so I'll definitely have to give it a watch. Yeah. I don't know why I don't even know how that came up then but um <laughs> yeah it's um it's not often i see a new film that i'm interested in watching if i'm honest yeah oh, i just noticed uh che, che put in the chat about um the china o'brien um mm. set yeah, from eureka go. yeah we're um we were just discussing that weren't we saying we're gonna we've got them on order yeah i've pre-ordered them as soon as they were announced actually because i was afraid they were going to sell out luckily they haven't yet uh from from what i've heard um mm. But I had a feeling it was going to sell because people were sort of anticipating this release. People have been asking for a Blu-ray or 4K release over three years. I was like, I got to jump on this quick because I got a feeling it will yeah. sell out. But I've been proven wrong; it hasn't. So yeah. No, well, it, it, funny thing changed. was it. I've seen it advertised in a few places, so there must be like in um, there's a terracotta distribution, and and it was on their website as well. Mm. Um, so yeah, there's quite a few. But like you say, I think I think that in the end, I ended up getting mine. I think it was a little bit cheaper on Amazon. Which is, which is really, yeah, rather than directly. Yeah, I for weird. the first time I've ordered it straight off of, uh, or pre ordered, I should say, off of uh, Eureka. Um, right. Oh, okay. Which I, I haven't ordered anything off their site, you know, directly before. So I'm hoping it's going to turn out well with shipping and stuff. But yeah. We shall see. Are they, they're US based, I guess. Mm. I think. Oh, mm. oh, yeah. Alicia Silverstone, great. Also, Christina Apple. Oh, yeah, I, I can see Christina Applegate from that era, you know, Kelly Bundy when she was on. Mm. Uh, Married with children, yeah, yeah, I can see that. 
element. So, if you're ready, I think I'm caught up with the comments for now. Um, yeah, let's start this movie. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's watch the movie that we uh, yeah we've been saying how amazing it is. <laughs> let's see what happens. Oh yeah, I got I got the first opening crowd straight away. So if you're ready, we'll yeah. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. Three, two, one. Here we go. Yeah. Start with uh, action star pictures. Yeah. Yes, that's it. And the film's well. Awesome. Okay. Nice. I got free all film. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Film swell or films well. You know, like they do films well or it swells. Swell. Swell, yeah. like Clint Eastwood would say. Or it's swell, yeah. It's, yeah, swell. <laughs> it could be three things. That's not the best title of a company if you, if you mm. can interpret it in three different ways. <laughs> Yeah, I have the TV muted. Let's see. I'm gonna have a little bit of volume, but that's a bit too much. There we go. So you do I have the oh, captions on, so I can look at the dialogue. <laughs> yeah, but my, I just get up of the YouTube one. The only thing is with that, you get applause. It comes up and says applause all the time. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Anytime there's music or anything like any random sound, it just comes up and says applause. <laughs> or somebody's screaming, it's just like laughing. <laughs> yeah. Great diary of mini posts. Our drug is dated nicely on the Rocky Suite. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's uh, my background right here. Yeah. I was just doing a deep dive into um, Roy Rogers because I really wanted mm. to know know more about Roy Rogers because I've listened, watched Die Hard so many times. And like, <laughs> obviously, he's like... <laughs> yeah. So Stingray, as you can see, he's, he's, under, he's haunting you at the moment. He's underneath you. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> one of the most batshit in, insane characters in movie history and Catherine kind of with, without yeah. doubt yeah <laughs> and, and, and like kind of laughable in a, but also really like just really entertaining um yeah I, I read that he's a personal trainer now and i was just thinking can you imagine being trained by stingray by stingray <laughs> <laughs> I think there's actually an inter interview with him on the uh, on the vinegar uh, release. Oh wow! Um, he still actually looks pretty good. He, he's aged pretty good. Um, is he, is he look, look, still in shape? And... He so doesn't have like... the mullet anymore, sadly, but <laughs> not as insane. Okay. Yeah, not murdering people anymore. I think he's gone straight. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. That's good. It's nice to hear people have a redemption, isn't it? You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because this is a documentary, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so realistic. Not, not scripted. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his eyes, man. <laughs> it's crazy uh, facial expression. Yeah. Ah. It's hell of a drug. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy, you look, the guy beat up then looked like um, looks like Sugar Ray Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube sub subtitles like watching another film. Yeah. They're not yeah. good, are they? <laughs> There's some sort of intentional, hum unintentional humor in them sometimes, I think, when I'm watching it in um, YouTube subtitles. <laughs> so here's our prefer, um, Dr. Melfi. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dr. Hey, Melfi White. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Melfi White. <laughs> I saw a really cool snow globe today, and it was um, Christopher and Paulie in uh, Pine Barrens. <laughs> My favorite episode, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so good. I was just thinking that would be a really good snow globe to have. It was like a hundred a hundred quid or something. I was like, mm, can't really justify a hundred pounds on a snow globe. Yeah, that's that's a bit pricey, yeah. Yeah. If you had that for like 40 quid or whatever, I would be like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at these guys. Hey, this is okay. the obligatory uh, uh, convenience store all up scene from every cop movie in the 80s <laughs> and 90s. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The dress, the, the dress is always so random. You've got a guy who looks like he's ready to go working out, a guy <laughs> who is like wearing a obviously like working out gear with a bandana on, a guy with a suit and t-shirt. Like you've got such a guy with a handlebar mustache and a kind of jacket. It's just just a just a real combination of looks in one, yeah. one scene. I mean that guy who's with him doesn't look like they'd hang out together. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Looks like David Schwimmer. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> with, a, with a fake sort of uh, wannabe Bronson mustache. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like 
broken up mustache as well, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, it's a little Charles Bronson esque. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only not it's as not bad as, as, as obviously. It, it's longer on one side than it is on the other. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Cynthia, there she is. There she is. <laughs> Cynthia, watch. In her uh, wonderful mom jeans. <laughs> yeah, there's the. This is this is like the West Side Story where the jets, you know, like uh, the sharks and the yeah. jets. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> the costumes are so dead on in these these scenes for the gangs. It's like um, it's yeah. almost like like um, uh, warriors, you know, where it's like everyone gets mm. a look. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're the, we're the Native Americans. We've got things that we're we're the NWA guys. <laughs> we're the jeans. You know, Cynthia's look is what jeans. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's the her gang of the jeans gang. Yeah, mom jeans, leather jacket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the T birds, I guess. Orange MMA gloves. I think she's wearing in this scene. Um, <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, yeah. Well, that's interesting. So yeah, they're gonna fight. It's a street fight, obviously. Uh, yeah. She's betting money and stuff. And there's only one rule: you can't touch the ground with your with your hands. So if you get uh, knocked down, you have to find a very creative way to get up. I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like fist me, bro. Fist me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey Philip, thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's good to see you, Phil. Uh, Fifty nine survivor VHS, welcome. Oh, he has been in the chat before. It's saying, uh, seen rougher translations from other languages, then what YouTube su bleh, subtitles rewrite as bad as autocorrect typing, bad robots. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, definitely. Weapon prizes on the snow globes, yeah. Yeah. Rosebud. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mr. Burns had a, a good snow globe as well. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Okay, I do get to watch it. Just see my microscope. <laughs> I don't have this on physical format. Come out and play. Yeah, yeah that's a Warriors reference. Well, I wonder if they'll ever do like another Warriors film or a sequel to it. Mm. It probably wouldn't work. Oh, here we go with the excessive Ooh. slow motion. Oh shit! I went to do a kick and I ended up kicking my desk. Okay, wow. no more no more kicks for me. That's it. I'm out. I hang up by a ninja. <laughs> He's just spanked her. Was he going for a pump handle slam? <laughs> oh, don't touch the ground. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ooh, and a nice split kick. Oh yeah, that was a good one. And the splits. Yeah, Jean Claude Van Damme would be proud of that yeah. split. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for you, Jean Claude. Jean Claude. The most epic of splits. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, yeah, no. By the way, the the reason for the TV screen being so small, obviously, is for copyright purposes. Because again, I have to point out, I'm watching the 4K, which is very clear resolution and stuff. It's going to come up very well for the copyright people. Even though the film was free on YouTube, I'm not going to take any chances. Yeah. Every time I see a car like that tearing around a corner, I always think, "Watch out! It's going to be a lot of cardboard boxes flying." <laughs> Yes, that's another thing. Cardboard boxes in this uh, in this movie, it's a thing. With yeah. Godfrey O. Yeah, in the old cardboard box factory where they don't make anything other than cardboard boxes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, man, I used to work in a job where I was um, packing sports gear, and at the end of every shift, you had to break, get your knife, and break down the cardboard boxes. Fucking hell, mm. that was a that was a nightmare. I hate it. Yeah. I have a rational fear of cardboard boxes. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> yeah. That was a good game, Pit Fighter. I had Pit Fighter on the Amstrad. Mm. Um, it was like pre-MMA, I guess, or around the time of when people didn't know what MMA was, like maybe maybe around the same time as UFC 1 or something. Mm. Or maybe Pank, Pank Race or something like that. And people were calling it, you know, Pit Fighting or... Um, what else did they call it? They called it all kinds of things. I would love to riff the Warriors, yeah. Love the Warriors. <laughs> it's a great film. I've not, I've not seen it for a while. I've probably not seen it for a few years. Yeah, I think it's the same with me. I think maybe four or five years ago when I last watched it. Mm. It's definitely due for a rewatch, that's for sure. 
Yeah, for sure. Major Matt. <laughs> yeah, I hurt my leg now. I'm injured, so. Yeah, I'm well, Canon, Canon Films is coming back, and Matt is going to be in a reboot of American Ninja Free or Ninja Free the Domination. <laughs> yeah, B B British Ninja. <laughs> British Ninja, very apologetic, very awkward. <laughs> me, me, and he, me and Hugh Grant. And it's going to be Ghost Erected because he is a ghost now by Michael Winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me, Hugh Grant, Michael Winner, the dream team. Yes. <laughs> but lots of, like, lots of uh, unnecessary sex scenes in it if it's Michael Winner. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Totally understand copyright. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a bitch. <laughs> then the film is on YouTube and it's, and it's full length. But if I show like at any big or so, I bet I'm gonna get the stream. You know, it's me, crazy. So. It's it's crazy. I was watching Bucket of Blood, which is um uh, in the public domain, and I tried watching it twice, uh, live stream with it in the corner of my screen, and they they closed, they they shut my stream down twice. Yet you can watch it for free on YouTube, and it is in the public domain. You can watch it and download it on um, Internet Archive. Yeah, so weird. But sometimes the the music's copyright rated, and they they'll chase it, and then the the actual pit, you could have watched it with the sound off, but yeah. you just don't know, do you? Yeah, definitely. So what's going on here? So Christine and yeah, so Christine is um thinking of a bit of a you know a change of lifestyle i guess moving out of the old gang fights <laughs> yeah she's putting her sister through college i think is the uh, yes is the thing that's going on and that's why she's she's doing the fighting yeah and she's also working as a waitress as well <laughs> and yeah this cop totally has the hots for because of course who wouldn't it's in gil Rock, for goodness sake so yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's he's a funny character. He kind of comes across a bit like a kind of Seinfeld, um, 80s mm. sitcom yeah. kind of guy. He's not, he's certainly not like on a par with her in any way. Yeah. And interestingly enough, he was actually the main villain in the previous uh, Cynthia Rothra, Godfrey Hall, or Godfrey Hope film, I should say. Uh, oh. Honor and Glory, he was the main villain in that one. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. He's like, in this one, he just looks like, what's the deal with gang fights? <laughs> yeah, he's not the greatest fast being. He's not really great in line delivery, but yeah. then again, this movie isn't really Shakespearean, so <laughs> we'll add <No>. slide. <laughs> he's good. No, that's true. Yeah, we, we can't pick this one apart because uh, it's, it's, it's just insane fun. Yeah. And once once uh, Stingray starts amping things up, then, then we're off to the races. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Stinger. Keep an eye out for your stingray. Yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know, we're gonna get there. <laughs> yeah, we're watching you. I'm watching you, Stingray. Well, now I want to see Robert De Niro in this one from his uh, <laughs> Meet the Fuckers uh, films. I'm yeah. watching you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what do we watch on the field one day this year? This has actually been my third watch this year of this movie, believe it or not. <laughs> I think it might be my second, uh, maybe not third. I don't, I'm not sure. But like I said, it's one of the few that I, few Cynthia Rothrock films that I actually own. Um, yeah. Because I just, I watched this with friends and we just, just laughed so much. Yeah, I watched just, it about, it so much. about a month ago or something. I had a buddy of mine over and I'm sort of getting him into, into Cynthia Rothrock. We watched the, uh, the China O'Briens. And I think we watched another, um, forgetting which one though. But after that, I, I was like, it's time to see Cynthia in 4K because I got, of course, you know, the 4K of Underfield. I was like, let's watch Underfield. And he absolutely loved it. Yeah. Okay, that was a month ago. Obviously, I watched it this week to prepare for this uh, for oh. this stream. Um, so this is my first time watching it this year. <laughs> if, you, um, if you go into it with like a kind of fun mindset, you're going to have a great time with this film. Yeah, and it, it starts off quite slowly, like in this kind of stuff. Like they're literally just lying there talking about, you know, their backstory and why yeah, she'll be a this... good, she'll be a good doctor because she just gave her a back rub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, the character expo exposition or uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I was looking at them. I'm, I, I didn't used to use Letterbox for every film. I just used for it, used it for every film that I went to that I saw at the cinema. Um, but then I moved out into the country and I and I I don't go to the cinema anymore. So I was like, right, I'm going to do it for every film. So since January, at least, I've done every every single film. Um, oh. So I say that because I was thinking of you the other day because on the fourth of April, I watched Amsterdam. Ooh, nice. <laughs> That's a classic Dutch film. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think, to be fair, I think I may have missed the last 10 minutes because I think I fell asleep. But um, but that's my that's no reflection on the film. That's just my age. Yeah, that's a very popular one over there. I have that on TV constantly. I think they had it really? on TV like in the beginning of January. They're on TV again. Yeah. They're doing a sequel. They're doing the 20, I think 2024, 2025. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go, Stingray. Oh yeah, there we go. I might have to move the screen for this bit. <laughs> Stingray watch. This could have been like the uh, the Michael Winner directed portion of the film. Yeah, but... he's like, get you this. That's uh, really get in there, Stingray. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, now show your tits. <laughs> Come on, Stingray. Don't don't be don't be gentle. <laughs> So this guy's caught his real Stingray's name. He should just be called Stingray. Is Dan Nyam? Is that right? Uh, Don. Uh, oh, yeah, Don Nyam. Don Nyam. Nyam. Yeah, how we pronounce it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got I got both his names wrong. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this yeah, is even where, though, I was even looking. though you don't see anything, YouTube can be a bit uh, funny about this subject matter. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, it, it is quite. Minutes. Again, the punishment. If you're watching this and you think, oh, this is a little bit, this is a, a not not the same sort of thing, but I guess it's similar in the sense of like, um, I spit on your grave. Where in mm. this guy, the the punishment definitely fits the crime for uh, for oh, for, yeah. old, for old Stingray. So if you if you guys are watching this and thinking, oh fuck, this is horrible, like don't worry, it's for a reason because Stingray's gonna get his. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be fair, it's definitely still you know. It's terrible what he's doing and so, but it's not as hard to watch as, for example, the previous film that you and I watched together in Death yeah. Wish 2, where there was a 10 minute, uh, you know, sexual assault scene. Yeah. Um, which obviously was done so that Michael Winner could get his kicks, uh, could get his rocks off. But um, yeah, this one, you, you don't really see anything. It's more implied and stuff. It, she doesn't, you know, he doesn't rip her shirt off or anything. But it's, it's his still, face that's the, um, the, yeah. the, most, the most distressing thing to see. <laughs> Yeah, especially because he's thinking about the the fight he just had at the beginning. It's like, yeah, that, that's a weird thing to be thinking about while you're doing that. You know, <laughs> you're doing a lot of this. He's like, <laughs> there you go. Mm, yeah, that's... <laughs> my, I'm taking uh, my sting, my sting, my one man sting ratio on the road next year. Um... On tour, there you go. <laughs> yeah, sting round so. I think we can put it back. And then he's eating his steak. Yeah, he's having a steak. Well, he's just made a giant mistake. Big mistake, as Arnold would say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it is uh, available to watch on YouTube. That is correct. In its mm -hmm. full length. Uh, 59 Survivor saying, I'll start with turn. You'll, you'll caught me off guard today. Go get things in order for the remote outpost. Got the audio going. Mm -hmm. Keep on riffing. Yeah, no nice worries. <laughs> thanks for yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Chance favors to prepare in mind, what girl hour. <laughs> well, that feels like something I should do that too. Like, yeah. <laughs> Is that from uh, from Blind Fury? That quote? Ooh, I recognize a quote from somewhere. Could but... be, uh... Or blind I always get the title wrong from it's either blind fury or blind rage, one of the two. I always say Yeah, I think uh, with the two. Uh... I think I yeah, I think I know maybe blind fury. I would, funnily enough, I would, I would, I would I, this this gangster guy here with the balding hair and it's like this guy reminds me a bit of yeah, yeah. The, the, in a lot of films like this. Um, I was watching Ring of Fire three yesterday, and well, the gangster, the main gangster guy was the. This is a really weird one, but he was the dad. He was the guy who ran the beach club in the summer episodes of Saved by the Bell, but um, mm. <laughs> but um. It was, um, he just kept going, woo, I'll get you, woo. 
Like, because obviously it's Dr. Johnny Wu, isn't it? Like, um, Don the Dragon Wu. It? So he's just all the way, every sentence he ends it in Wu. So it just sounds like he's Ric Flair all the way through the film. He's just like, Woo! I'll get you. I'll yeah. get you. Wu. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yeah. I'm home. Make me another steak. <laughs> I'll break your fucking neck. What a lovely charmer yeah. he is. <laughs> Roses are red, away. violets are blue. I'll break your freaking neck. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Going up the stairs, down the stairs. She I know. I was just thinking that we did. We did. We need to see the fall up upstairs and downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm Is thinking maybe he didn't have the set built upstairs. Maybe it's a fake stairs. It doesn't go anywhere. But yeah. Yeah. He just walks up to the like, and then just turns around in the same spot. It, yeah. They right didn't have there. the budget to build the upstairs uh, yeah. part of the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dear Stingray. <laughs> uh, the classic Dear Stingray letter. By the time you read this, I'll be long gone. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the room reading it too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice rug. Mm. <laughs> That's what I feel that they want us to see in this, <laughs> the way it's shot. <laughs> <laughs> P.S. Your steak is in the oven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, what's the deal with him? He's he's sort of you know crazy by by the fighting and stuff, and he has mommy issues, and then he has also a thing for redheads. It's yeah, he has a lot of like, stuff in the system there going on. It's yeah, and it's my it's this is like around the time of the psychoanalysis boom in the U.S. So like my psychotherapist says this, and your psychotherapist says this. <laughs> but like it's just like I'm not your mother. Well, seeing as what he did in the last scene, that really concerns me. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Oedipus, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go with this great act. No! And then uh, I love how this is all in slow motion. He throws everything around. He throws his toys out. <laughs> throws his toys out of pram. <laughs> Steak goes flying across the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, there goes the wine. Or was it olive oh, oil? Oh, oh, now he kicks the chair. Oh, there goes his trophy. <laughs> Rage quit. <laughs> Meanwhile. Hey, Bud Files, how you doing, my friend? Hey, Bud Files. How's it going? Thanks for joining us. <laughs> I love Stingray. <laughs> oh, he's got the, the musical uh, musical watch. Might be a slight um, reference to For a Few Dollars More, maybe. Uh -huh, maybe. Maybe that was Godfrey Ho's homage or something. Hey. Homage. Yeah. <laughs> Godfrey's homage. <laughs> That's oh, what you should yeah. do. Yeah, you should do a cut of every every time he does something and do like a super cut of all Godfrey's homages. <laughs> Godfrey's homage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the fight scenes are good. It's just a shame that sometimes it just goes slow motion for no apparent reason. Would it really didn't need any slow motion? We just zoom um, in on Stingray's face like this for about three hours. Yeah. I and mean, this is weird. He uh, highlights his hair red. Uh, yeah. Certain spots. I'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we were talking about this off camera before we went live. But if you told me this was a movie that was made in the 80s, I would have believed it. I mean, this, yeah. this was early 90s. I think it's one of those movies where, like, the 80s really blended into the early 90s filmmaking for certain films. This is definitely one of them. Yeah. 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 Oh, and here's um, his nice boyfriend. Good guy. Oh, yeah. Solid dude. <laughs> you can tell he's a solid dude because the solid dudes have their shirts tucked into their jeans. Ah, that's it. That's how you know in these films. <laughs> Look, buddy. <laughs> Look, bucko. Oh, man, it's too <laughs> ready. You there better run. Go. You better run. <laughs> Look at those eyes, man. I wonder what film he watched or what, what direction he got to play it this way. It's such a specific weirdness. Well, I, I, I think Godfrey Ho just went, like, more, more, more overacting, more, more facial, yeah. yeah. <laughs> When he when he threw him then, and I think he's like head or his body hit the metal thing. It made a really nice ding sound. Mm, yeah. 
I mean, this the part that's come up where he fly, where he flies off the, uh, of the of the of the of the of the thing, and he uh, he lands and stuff. The stuntman, I don't know if it was him or stuntman. I'm guessing it's a stuntman, but whoever it was, they didn't get paid enough because it looks like it freaking hurt when he lands. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Put a close up on it when it happens. It would be in my highlights of the film. This part, yeah, our most memorable moments. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. there you go. He does it. There we go. Look at that. Yes. Look at that. Yes. Look at that. Yes. The yeah. back. He hits his back, and then he. Oh my word. Yeah, and then it shows it again. <laughs> yeah, and he does the three stooges boop, in his eyes as well. Yeah, yeah. He also got the eyes. Oh, one, 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 starting one. with the eyes already. He has a thing for <laughs> eyes as well. This guy. Yeah. yeah. And here we have Thank Cynthia Rothrock doing her best, uh, Linda Hamilton from Terminator One impression. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "What can I get for you, honey? The usual." <laughs> it's mad to think that people would be sat in diners like this across America, just all smoking all over each other. Mm. Like, like it's just not a thing now, is it? Like people don't sit in restaurants. Yeah, it's not anymore. So. Definitely, yeah. Mm. <laughs> definitely, sign of the times. Yeah, it's like in um, if you ever watch Chopping Mall. Like mm. this, this, they're in that restaurant, and there's just everyone's just tons of smoke everywhere at the beginning. The one that uh, they work in. Howdy, boy! I'll keep having Steven Seagal. Oh boy, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Steven Seagal flashes, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like Vietnam veteran style. Steven Seagal. Yeah. I just keep hearing him playing um playing guitar solos in my head nonstop. Oh yeah, when he's playing with his with his thumb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Do you know when I when I when I saw him live and the lady in the front row got his um oh I don't think it was under siege, I can't remember which one it was. She got a VHS signed. Um but at the end they were trying to get everyone to champ for an encore, but everybody had left. Um, <laughs> so yeah. we were we were all having to chant Mojo Priest, Mojo Priest, but there was like ten of us, and, I, and so I was just shouting like as loud as I could. And he, he did play an encore, but you know, it was it was rather muted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually do like his uh, his songs. Like I listen to his albums on um, on Spotify occasionally. I, I, I sort of like that, you know, sort of the blues. Uh, do you know what it is though, Jeff? So I think. Um, the the band was incredible. Like mm. the band of musicians around him were great. He has no discernible talent, but everybody in the band is really talented. So yeah. like you'd only notice that when they made him do, or when they were like, put some mojo on it, priest, and then like he's gonna put his mojo on it, and then he's like, bloop 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 bloop. <laughs> but then when the other people take over, it's really good. Like I did yeah. enjoy it from that sense. Like as a, he, he, he was clever enough to surround himself with excellent musicians. So I'll, I'll give you mm. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Stingray, you've gone too far this time. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I definitely, I, I relate to everybody who has Steven Seagal flashes because I have watched every one of his movies, sadly. So <laughs> I, I can relate. <laughs> Oh wow! I own every single one of his movies as well. Yeah. Wow, man, that's amazing. That's an achievement in itself. Yeah, an I endurance, so. an endurance test, <laughs> and also like, um, I don't think there's many people who would, who who mm. who, who, who have them. Like, I, I can't, especially some of the later ones, some of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what it was? I mean, I, I really loved and admired the guy when I was, uh, you know, growing up, and I sort of first watched his movies and stuff. To me, yeah, as as a child, he was like a like a sort of a hero to me, like on the same page as Stallone and, and Van Damme and whoever, all those guys. Uh, obviously, finding out you know the the guy he has behind the scenes and and, and obviously his his later movies, which really sucked. I was like, eh, I'm not really too too big on this guy anymore. But I had a f sort of fair collection of his movies, even from like the early two thousands, where he already was straight to video and stuff. Mm. So I was like, you know what, I have fair, you know, a fair few of his movies. There's not too many left that I need to get. His last twenty or so, you know, I think. Uh, yeah. I was like, you know, uh, at least so that you can say that you have a full collection, that you have the collection complete. Let's just get the movies yeah. and watch them at least once. I mean, I'll never have to watch them again, so, uh, luckily. You, so, what do you say? Maybe, you're, you're um, maybe I'll do a watch party one day, but <laughs> do it, do a do a marathon of all of them. Um, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Uh, in a row with no sleep, but, and see how you get on. 
Um, <laughs> the first ten would be the first ten would be fine, but after that it would yeah. get hard. <laughs> it's difficult though. We I tried doing like a Rocky marathon, watching all of the Rockies, and that was when there was only like five of them mm. or six of them. I found yeah, it really that's hard. That's no problem for me. I can do that yeah. all day. <laughs> no, I have like six in a row. I uh, oh, I'm struggling with it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's um. It's cool. It's cool. Have it. I'm. I'm. I'm quite a complete. Also, I was going to ask you really. Would you say because you're a fan of his, or because you're a completist and you like to 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 finish that thing? And even if then, if you own them all, could you then sell them all? Now you've got them all, or would you want to keep them forever? Well, I'll keep them because they are a part of uh, of my collection. I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm still a fan in a way of Segal. I'll, I'm always be. I'll always be a fan of his first sort of you know ten years or, or ten films or whatever, like all the Warner Brothers films that he did, the big studio films in the nineties. Uh, especially Out for Justice, that's my favorite. Um, I'll always be a fan of those films. After that, there's still a handful that I sort of genuinely do like uh, in, in, a, in a weird way. Uh, although, yeah, 90% of them are crap, to be fair. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but yeah, still, it, it's it's a part of my collection. You know, it's still, yeah. you know, it reminds me of my childhood when I was really, you know, into Seagal and stuff. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna oh, get rid good. of them or anything. It's still, it's gonna be there. Just to say, I, ha I have them all. Yeah. The reason I ask that is because obviously, um, I have like a real childhood love of Star Wars, and during lockdown, I made, I, I finished my Star Wars collection, and I, I collected every figure from 1977 to the Power of the Force. I had every figure, and um, and then I a little bit of time passed by. Um, because I've done it, so I was just like, right, all gone. And I, I, I'm a completist, and I do stuff, but then I move on to another thing. Um, so that's why I was kind of asking about whether, because I, I, most people I know do tend to do like you do, and and collect all of something and then keep all of something. And I, and I tend to, yeah. there are some things that are irreplaceable that I would never get rid of. Um, but I, then, to be fair, once I once I sold all of them. I did start briefly buying the retro figures of the same things, oh, yeah. <laughs> but but they're a lot cheaper, um, <laughs> so so that helps. Uh, just just as a, I don't know, just as a kind of a a, a, a nice memory of, of of my childhood, I guess. And the same with my VHS. My all the VHSs that I own are about a quarter of what I used to have, maybe even less. But they're ones that I absolutely love. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I, that's I, I like to be com completion as or complete as uh, as much as I can. What so I mean, the same you know with my favorite actor Al Pacino, I try to get every one of his movies. I still don't have every one of his movies, even though I'm doing the uh, uh, the, re the review series on him. So I'll, I'll eventually I have to get some of the oh, ones yeah. that I don't have yet, like G Lee and uh, Jack and Jill, which are terrible films. Yeah, but I will get them for the collection because obviously I have to do the review on them as well and stuff. And uh, yeah, I will keep them in the collection once I have them. Uh, just to say, like, yeah, my favorite actor, I have all of his movies, you know, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Foley artist is <laughs> from Italian, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, here's another cool fight, by the way. Uh, what's yeah, this guy wearing? Um... He's wearing, like, some uh, American football um, protection play, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, and he's got the Zubaz pants on that the, the wrestlers and the American footballers used to wear as well when, when they were training, like, the Road Warriors would wear these, and like Randy mm. Savage and people. Um, I'm not quite sure what his deal is. Maybe these are the American football dudes. Oh, yeah, yeah. The American football gangs. Yeah, they, they were in the... Uh, oh, yeah, the, the sports, the sports yeah. guys. Yeah. It's, it's kind of funny. Maybe maybe Godfrey Ho was just like, right, we're <laughs> going to do like a little bit of um, a Warriors thing here. Yeah, martial arts meets the Warriors sort of weird yeah. crossover thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stingray's just driving past good. Looking angry, looking mean. I, I just did a video 40. on the. Um, That's a lot. Of Forty plus the gal films. Yeah, not all of us, but easily seven VHS. Oh, that's cool. Of Under Siege, hate He Man, love the movies. Oh, hate oh, the man, hate the, the man. Yeah, oh, yeah. He Man. Like, <laughs> what about Skeletal? Uh, Mark, Mark for Death. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Mark for Death. That's one of my. That's probably my second favorite of his after Out for Justice. I would say. Yeah. I just did a cigar video actually. I did um a little edit of his um Saturday Night Live. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw that. I was a little mean. I was a little mean, I guess. <laughs> oh, here we go. 
another guy with some i think hey ramon really cool my, uh, my dutch brother <laughs> oh nice any thoughts on amsterdam as well i know <laughs> My strategy is if I have 20 for everything, I could sell 19 uh, mats. Nice. That's my philosophy with 28 Jurassic Park. Huh? 28 Jurassic Park. Huh? All, I'd rather watch all 28 of those than any of the new ones. Um, I'd rather watch 28 all of, the, of the original Jurassic Park. I'm not a massive fan of those, but like um, the... Oh, and there goes there another guy. Uh, he's, yeah, he's doing the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, he's broke his neck twice, <laughs> and um, he's also making sure he drips all the blood out of his mouth. He's like siphoning the blood out of his head, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. A, yeah. <laughs> like he's a jug of blood, and he's just like tipping him off. <laughs> well, now we got established that the cop also does martial arts. Oh yeah, I forgot that. He's he, he doesn't facially he doesn't look like he has like that kind of skill or body. Facially, mm -hmm. he look he looks like like I say like a kind of Jerry Seinfeld type. Yeah, but he's actually in pretty good shape, I must admit. I mean, yeah, yeah, he's not like a proper ninja though, like me, because he doesn't have ninja <laughs> written on his thing. So. No, he doesn't. Yeah, mm. <laughs> where's his Rob's vintage video t shirt? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's a faker. <laughs> uh, Ramon is saying, I've seen quite a few of Rough Rock flicks in my days, but I'm not sure if I've seen this one. Ah. This is the one. Ninja Steve. Terminator, yeah. Ninja Terminator, yeah. Ninja Terminator is good. There's a the Russian. Is that the Russian one? Oh, am I thinking of Russian? There's Russian Terminator as well. Oh, that's, I think a, that's a different one. Um, yeah, yeah, a, yeah. Russian Terminator is a good one. Oh, it's going to start playing a tune for us now. Or? Yeah, that's true, man. Uh, Star Wars will be part of our child Broski forever. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. yeah, that's it, man. Yeah, it's about make, doing what makes you happy. Right, the Holy Thanks for tuning in. Have a good Cheers, Jay. Nice to see you, my friend. Yes. Yeah, there, there is such a thing. Yeah, Ninja Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. As Doug just saying here, uh, Ramon. Yeah, uh, you did a lot of uh, ninja stuff. We were discussing that a bit earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot. I, I think maybe that would be a good one to be a completist of every Godfrey Ho film with Ninja in the title. Ooh. <laughs> how many? I'm under, I, I, I'd have to go back down the IMDb, but I reckon there's 50 there. <laughs> yeah, at least. Yeah. This is where Stingray's like being charming and nice, which is even more yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah. Because he can't, he can't pull it off. Yeah, it's almost like in Dexter, place. where you know the, the TV series Dexter, where he's pretending to be yeah. a normal guy in front of other guys. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Even though he's a serial killer. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's gonna call and some. He's, uh... he's, yeah, he's not a redheaded woman, so obviously it's. Uh... Hey, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, you're coming with me. It is pretty Terminator, ask I must say. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the Terminator was hunting down a woman as well. So, yeah. It's lucky that every single woman in this film knows martial arts, though. Mm. Well, yeah, she's Cynthia Rock Rock's sister in the movie, so she, she has yeah. to know a little bit. She has to know, <laughs> yeah. She's picked up something. <laughs> yeah. Oh. One kick and you kick and you spit out that blood all over the place. It's the power of the Stingray kick. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't see people wear those kind of dresses anymore now. Mm, yeah. Like the kind of Yeah, like this walk there, he's, he's walking like very robotic toward the very Terminator ask. Yeah. It'd be good if he was just like... <laughs> but he needs the accent or he needs a little bit of the accent that Arnold has. <laughs> You're coming with me. It just says music. Most oh, this is Cynthia's, Cynthia's big scene. Uh, she's doing the uh, what she does best with the swords. She actually has like I, I don't know how many black belts for her, her sort of mastery in sword and swords and stuff. I heard I heard that she won an award this week for the the most uh, influential woman in martial arts. Like yeah, she did. Yeah. 
This is very rough. There, there's this like there's this like special uh, specialty like swords and weapons and stuff, uh, staffs, oh, whatever. Yeah. Awesome. Oof. I found my old um, karate belt. I went to my parents' house and I found like my one of my belts. And I was like, oh, I couldn't. Uh, do you know what? I, I didn't know what to do with it. I was like, what? What do I do with this? It's like been in a cupboard for <laughs> thirty years. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dexter, my sisters were amazed with that show when they found it. They were convinced I was him. <laughs> Personal oh, man. Lots of sci-fi similar. Thanks, sisters. <laughs> I, I can relate to uh, to Dexter Morgan a little bit. <laughs> not not the serial killer aspect, though. But... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. I think yeah, I think we got yeah. It, I, I, yeah. I I I definitely watched um. What it's one of my it's one of my so, favorite shows. Yeah. I absolutely love. Dexter. I think I yeah. I'm a terrible person for not watching right to the end of things. So like, but yeah. watching almost to the end. So maybe I think I, I have that with a lot of shows. Watched, uh, mm. Yeah, but Dexter I watched all the way through. Even though it was pretty bad by the end, but still, I think I watched up just up until his wife. Um, mm. Yeah, no spoilers, but I, I know I know what yeah. you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's right at the end of season four. Yeah, with John Levko, that was a great. Yeah, season. yeah, that's good. I hope he kills <laughs> zombies. <so. laughs> it's the best way to be, definitely. Ah, he's uh, ah. picked up a DVD of Russian Terminator two days ago. A strange old film yes. in a big old, um, big old country mansion somewhere. It's a weird film. I don't mind it. Oh I don't yeah, don't mind it. Oh, there oh, is oh, uh, Cynthia's acting good. moment. Um, I mean, to be, I, I gotta give her credit. She's she's the best actor in this film. I mean, she's actually showing yeah. emotion here. She's crying and stuff. Uh, I'm not hey. saying it's an Academy Award winning performance, but, but it's um, the best performance in this movie, that's for sure. But please don't, don't, don't you dare, Jeff. I thought we were getting on fine, but don't you dare say anything about Stingray. Uh, the guy <laughs> is possibly the greatest actor. <laughs> <laughs> The most unique performer I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> unique doesn't mean good or bad in this case. It just means Stingray. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, he's far away. Lighter, Ashworth for $500. Yeah. <laughs> Especially Bushy. <laughs> <laughs> Season one and two, Dexter's. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't say well. anything. Yeah, I didn't say too much. There we go, the leather guys versus the karate gi guys. Oh, yeah, there's another gang introduced, yeah. Cardboard boxes. Oh, yeah. He's doing a little bit of uh, kind of bit of dancing with his martial arts as well. Yeah, yeah, a little capoeira or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> Dance fighting. Look how happy he was, he cursed that apple. <laughs> I could do that. I mean, that apple looked rotten. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's like, I mean, I can do that. So yeah. yeah. I crush you like this grape. Smithers crush that grape. Oh no, I crush, <laughs> I crush you like that paper cup. Yeah, Smithers crush that. Smithers, <laughs> he's Smithers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Smithers, who is that man? Oh, that's uh, that's Homer Simpson, sir. Simpson, mate. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> I, I feel there's a bit of Bronson in your um, in your in your um, Mr. Burns. Mm, maybe maybe a, a little bit. It's, there's a bit, of, yeah. a bit of crossover. A bit of crossover. It's excellent. Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, Bronson's a little. I don't know. The, the pitch is a bit deeper, maybe for Bronson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also a little bit like Duke Nukem when he goes very deep with him. You know, I got balls of steel. Uh, a little bit like that as well. <laughs> This guy's this guy's got some crazy facial expressions. Mm. Your ass is mine. <laughs> Your ass it it belongs to me now. <laughs> it belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> and he does a little flick with his leg. He's always quite he's quite sassy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He reminds me a bit of um I don't know if you ever watched Bob's Burgers. There's a kind of thing, it's there's like a yeah. In Bob's Burgers, there's a there's a um, a martial arts film, something like Duck and Chick or something. And Chick, 
and one of the main characters. It's kind of a play on, I think, Shogun Assassin, maybe. Um, mm. And the main character looks just like this guy. Ah. So I wonder if that's where they've got it from. Because he has the same little flourish with, like, after he's done a move. Yeah. He's got his red PJs on. <laughs> <laughs> that woman, go. <laughs> oh, that, ooh, that's a nice, nice. Move. Go fight. Go fight. Fight team. Go. And I got to say, the pants she's wearing is very complimenting to her figure, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly. I'm catching that drift. Mm. Do you know, Um, I was just thinking from what little I've seen of Ronda Rousey in films, mm. like how her acting is not the best. Um, yeah. that how underrated Cynthia Rothrock is to be able to do all this stuff, have the physical side of it, and be a good actress at the same time is is quite unusual. <laughs> you yeah, can't just true. throw you can't just throw somebody in who can you know beat someone up and go you're a good actress. <laughs> Older and looking back, Mr. Burns, is Howard Hughes. <laughs> eagle Claw yeah. style. Definitely. Oh, yeah, Eagle Claw, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From the uh, David Carradine School of uh, Martial Arts. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's where I learned it. Mine was, um, I was trying to think what, what karate I learned. It was um, called Shatakan Karate. Hmm. I don't know if that's a, if that's a thing. I don't know. That's why I remember. But I also, I was taught judo by this guy who was blind. This sounds like a movie. Um, he <laughs> blind competed Fury with Rogara. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> he competed. Yeah. He competed in the Commonwealth Games and won um, a silver or bronze medal. Um, mm. But he was like at that point, I think he'd lost seventy five percent of his sight. Yeah. Um, but obviously, with judo, it's different because you're holding on to the gi a lot and you're. You, you, you're very close um but he was really cool actually he taught me loads of stuff about just like body weight and i guess physics of throwing people around yeah um <laughs> but I, I didn't i didn't mind it the only the thing i enjoyed the most about karate was um at the end of the session that you do you, you'd all stand in a circle and do like a little freestyle where you choose different people to fight against and um not like fight full on fight but like sparring yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that was quite that was quite fun. Um mm. and this is all like 30, 30 odd years ago probably. Mm. But um it was fun. <laughs> You're getting involved with her, aren't you? So she the yeah. highest degree yellow belt. Uh, the rest fourth grade gave it up. Looking back, the facility was a microbe haven. <laughs> probably for the past, I learned a lot just from watching Seagal. Yeah. Yeah, There's a because, lot of like a... yeah, as a kid, you know, when I watched Seagal, I actually took up Aikido for two years because I was inspired by him. But oh, cool! Yeah, I know what he means about microbes and stuff, though, because like on those mats. The sweaty, sweaty mats mm. that we used to use. Oh man, verrucas and all kinds of horrible things flying around, rolling around. Damn! <laughs> we need Chris Tucker for that line. Damn! <laughs> They're from the media. <laughs> <laughs> and a bunch of crackheads. <laughs> we've got the punks, the crackheads, we've got the guys who wear pajamas, we've got the cowboys, we've got the yeah. leather guys, <laughs> we've got the American sports guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Have I missed anyone out? Uh, for now, I think that's it. Yeah. yeah. And of course, uh, uh, Stingray, the king of kickboxers in this as well. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He doesn't have his own gang though it's unusual he doesn't isn't need it, it. Yeah. yeah yeah he's a one-man army he's, he's a gang of his own yeah yeah <laughs> one-man gang there's another gang 
<laughs> well, these guys this called guy the... With, with the with the blue punk hair mohawk sort of thing. Yeah, the cyberpunks are. Uh, are they this look mm. like the like guys the who shop at the Gap? Ah, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> just <the> preppies. <laughs> Yeah, the cyberpunks. Oh, Nine Inch Nails or something. <laughs> Finger Lee. Who's fingering Lee? <laughs> oh, that was a terrible line. That can be taken in such a wrong context. <laughs> I need you to finger Lee. <laughs> no, sorry. Not for me. Yeah, your sister's friend. <laughs> your sister's death. I don't give a shit. Removing the sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> Just reminding you, your sister's death. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> a yeah, especially in, in the early movies, I agree. Uh, Seagal's style and the way he was throwing around people. I mean, when I watched it as a kid, I was like, "This is magic." How, how the fuck is he doing this stuff? Yeah. yeah. Whoa, that was cool. Yeah, there are good fights in this. It's just a shame that sometimes, you know, needlessly they go for slow motion when it's not needed. <laughs> yeah, or like, yeah, or, you know, like repeating things. Yeah. I guess it's just to pad out the runtime a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that was definitely Cynthia doing the flip there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I quite like it when they throw like a chair or a, it makes me feel, mm. it makes me think about Jackie Chan, you know, that kind of thing. Like using the environment, using things in a yeah. creative way. Yeah, she's definitely one of. Uh, oh, she. What am I saying? He's definitely one of uh, Cynthia's sort of influences. Um, a lot of fighting, especially the ones she did in the Hong Kong films, um, were sort of. She said they were inspired by uh, Jackie Chan's uh, fighting. So uh, definitely a big influence for her. Yeah. Yeah, these guys. I'm not quite sure. They're a bit of a mishmash of a gang because you've got the. Heavy metal dude, you've got the preppy looking guy, you've got I don't know man. This gang's no good. They need a distinct look. They need a stylist. <laughs> yeah. Recess is over, man. Back to class. <laughs> class is in session. Take care, Philip. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Philip. Appreciate it. They've got a lot. You've got a lot to learn about police work. <laughs> no, but she's been in loads of films where she's had, she's done police work. Mm, Maybe yeah. she could te teach him a thing or two. Yeah, she can definitely teach him a thing or two about acting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the fact that this is like just a super fast, um, super fast funeral really quick yeah. straight in, yeah. in and out and then straight back into the revenge yeah we need uh character development or, or stuff like that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what actually wearing this is quite warm it's, it's getting i'm getting quite warm. maybe it's the action of the film is getting me getting me <laughs> hot under the car and getting and getting fired up i want to fight someone you know mm, yeah 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 <laughs> 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 Do some do some bullet time, some some homemade bullet time. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's in That's there if you never hit play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a do it again. Um <laughs> the um have you ever heard of a film called Kindergarten Ninja? I have, yeah, I have. Yeah. That's that's got fake bullet time in it. That's got a guy doing that. <laughs> I think I remember that actually, yeah. <laughs> hey, they're bringing the, the martial arts expert here. Yeah. Trying yeah, to he's like, you do this, you thing, do some yeah. of this. He takes people's eyes out like this. <laughs> Which is very similar to another film with Cynthia, um, Tiger Claws, uh, uh -huh. which they also made three of, of those films, and all three, I think. Uh, are available on YouTube as well. Um, a lot of her films. Uh, yeah, they are. Or, yeah, yeah. Al sent me um, a playlist of um, like I think like ninety percent of her films on. Mm. Um, I, I couldn't make. I tried to make it public on my channel, but I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Mm. 
Yeah, it's like a, the Tiger Claws trilogy is also about, you know, Bolo Young. He's, he's in those movies as the villain. Of course, everybody knows and loves Bolo Young. He's always a fantastic bad guy. Um, yeah, so he's killing people with the, the Tiger Claw uh, move and stuff. And they also bring uh, in a martial arts expert to identify it. Yeah. This woman's going to take them all out with her broomstick. <laughs> Get off my lawn! <laughs> She's in charge of the neighborhood watch. Like, there's a gang of five women who look just like her. <laughs> She's going to fight yeah, with her it's, later it's, on. It's her and uh, the Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Have you ever, uh, this, is, this is a really funny, funny thing I saw recently. There was a clip from behind the scenes in the Golden Girls, right? And mm. um, the one, what she called Blanche, is telling a joke to Rose in real life. And she's saying that, like, so there's this guy, he's on a desert island. And. Um, He's trapped there, and it and it, he's just he's just him, uh, a dog, and a pig, and he's been there six months, and he's he's getting like amorous and frustrated. So the pig starts looking, you know, a bit more attractive than it was before. But every time he goes near the pig, the dog goes like that. <laughs> yeah. So he, he won't do it. He won't go. He won't go to. He won't go near the. Um, he won't go near the pig. So anyway, luckily, after about another six months, um, a beautiful woman arrives on the, washes up on the beach as well. And he just goes, oh, man, just I'm so glad to see you. I'm so thankful that, that you see here. Uh, can you hold that dog for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so funny to hear them talk, to tell that joke on there. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. scenes on the Golden Girls. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there's Cynthia. Where do you think you're going, mister? That's a fair, honey. <laughs> <laughs> honey. I don't want her to go, oh, you, bitch, please. You you, you wouldn't even land, land a single blow on her. <laughs> They, 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 the first look, they, they look really frustrated. Like, what is this woman doing? <laughs> Guy's keeping his gloves on. Oh, here we go. We got the eagle claw thing going. Yeah. Oh, man. So he must be in the. Uh... They're getting closer to Stingray. <laughs> oh, that was a nice move. Oh, off the wall. And then it goes into comedy. This is like comedy, really, this bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> the writer made silent. So shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Please Cold exercise. Girls get down with Richard Simmons. Don't mess with them. I have the VHS tape <laughs> to work out with Sal, Pac Sal Pacino. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's on, that's on an episode of. Um... Red Letter Media, Best of the Worst, um, with, yeah, I, I think it's Al Pacino's dad. I was going to say, because Pacino. Pacino's, yeah. Pacino's dad is called Sal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think it's with it. Because there's a few like that. There's um there's a one with Jackie Stallone as well. There's like um, a mm. workout video with Jackie Stallone. I'm not even sure if there's one with Sal Pacino and Jackie Stallone together. <laughs> <laughs> All they needed was a Schwarzenegger relative. They could have had the... Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The best workout tape ever. That's not a bad shirt. I quite like that shirt. Mm. Yeah, not my thing, but. <laughs> oh. I do nice. like that guy's very colorful uh, necktie, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is kind of funny because, like, only in movies where cops are trying to look respectful do they wear a leather jacket and a tie. <laughs> yeah. Just... And he's got a bit of a dirty Harry thing with the, the shoulder holes and his yeah. 44 Magnum in there. Yeah. Go ahead, Cynthia, Harry. Make my day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Got some good shots on the 59 Survivor VHS channel. Oh, it's Jacqueline Sloan, the one. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, Jackie. <laughs> yeah. That's my impression of her. <laughs> yeah, Jackie. 
Uh, Shirley Simmons, Pauline Fawcett, Sal Pacino, Harry Hoffman, oh, Harry Jack, Hoffman. Uh, Jackie Stallone. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Harry Hoffman. Very good, very good. <laughs> <laughs> This is when um, yeah, there's inter intelligent uh, women that wear, wear glasses. They have to wear yeah. glasses if, if you're intelligent. Otherwise, how would we know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she was also in uh, uh, the aforementioned Honor and Glory, which was mm -hmm. another Godfrey Ho film with Cynthia as well. And this guy who plays God. See, this is a bit it's, of a reunion of that film. It's just funny that she's like, yeah, and he's got an obsession with women with red hair. Unfortunately, mm. I also have red hair, so I'm a bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> Every, it, 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 it's, Why it's does he not, care about the eyes? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so strange that like every, nearly every woman in the film has red hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that just happens to be his thing. <laughs> And they also have eyes as well. Yeah, they have eyes. <laughs> Mostly blue eyes, yeah. Yeah. Women with eyes, that's his thing. <laughs> it says, work out VHS as a new addition in my collection. So many famous people. So just buying them because I find them two sorts uh, of deal. One on its own and a box of 100. Wow. <laughs> That'd be a big, that's an interesting collection to have. Irish lasses are good. Ah, <laughs> uh, so they are, so they are. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Rabbit? No, not Mr. Rabbit, surely. Is that my subtitles wrong? Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Roberts. <laughs> Mr. Roberts, I think. He said Mr. Rabbit. I'm a, I'm Roger Rabbit. <laughs> oh, is his hair getting taller? Stingray's checking the mail. Yeah, we need to see this. This is important. Menacingly checking the mail. <laughs> Goddamn Reader's Digest. I mean, that Mullet is next level, though. That's uh, That Mullet yeah. can definitely compete with, like, Van Damme's Mullet than Hard Target and stuff. It's, uh... <laughs> it's getting taller and curlier as the film goes on. Yeah. Back to the old home homestead. I mean, if, if I had the hair, I would probably do it there. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a such a strange little house he's in. It's just I don't know. Yeah, and again, we never see the upstairs area, so <laughs> yeah, it's true. If you kind of squint, he looks a bit like Richard Lewis. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has a final showdown with Larry David at the end of the <laughs> Enough bodies after this Easter. It was a rough one. Roger Rabbit can suck some dip. Where's Dark Way? <laughs> yes. hey, I've never heard of it put that put that way. <laughs> I love Roger, who friend Roger Rabbit. Oh man. My friend won a copy of it on VHS and like we got it really early and oh, I was so excited to watch it again after seeing it at the cinema. Yeah. Such a great film. A very violent and abusive man. Anyway, I've got to go. Bye. <laughs> the flower print dresses, for sure, is a thing with him as oh, well. That's another thing as well. This guy has so many uh, yeah. dresses, I guess. The eye, yeah. blue eyes, red hair, eyes, flower red print hair. dresses. Yeah. yeah. Mullets, steak dinners, <laughs> tiger style. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's got, we, we've built a profile on this guy, to be fair, haven't we? We we know. I feel I know Stingray inside out. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. This is just like, um, what's the David Fincher on the profiling thing? Manhunter? Or, no, Manhunter. What's it called? Oh. Um, it's not called Profiler, is it? Um, I can't fucking think of the title. Yeah, I can't think of what it's called either. <laughs> there we go we're going in oh yeah we go kick in the door oh, oh they don't no just open it no nope. just open it <laughs> <laughs> a bit anticlimactic i would say yeah 
Yeah, it's not kick in the door, wave the 4 4. It's just literally open the door, wave the 4 4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> open the door, get on that floor. <laughs> There's a downstairs, we know that now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll clean, up. I'll clean this up. I, I, that's another thing. Irises, the flowers, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Irises, eyes. Mmm, connection there. This is deep. This is deep shit. And to think people will laugh at this film. How dare they? They know the nothing. Sub, yeah. you know, the <laughs> subtext, the depth of this. Is on. <laughs> He's getting sloppy. There we go. Mm, interesting uh, side buttoning shirt for him there, is it? Mm, yeah. It's like the, some of the monkeys might wear. Oh, no, it's a, is it a, de a denim one? It looks a little denim. Oh, it's, it's gone already. Huh. It looked a bit denim, yeah. Strange look. Oh, Cynthia keep, keeping in shape. Some <laughs> There's yeah. some quite nice outdoor um, autumnal <laughs> settings in this. The red hair, the the brown and red leaves. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's a whole classic. But I hate bi bipedal rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. That's why they call him Stingray. He's like a big old fish. He stinks. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a nice little ribbon in the air as well yeah, yeah. looking Brand like something different you know? yeah oh. oh and then it cuts that's such a weird <laughs> cut oh <laughs> It's a big fight we've got the guys who wear well, the leather jackets think... against the guy who wear the cowboy shirts and yeah, I think this might be a scene I'll have to remove when, when he's, or well, maybe I missed it already because I noticed there's boobs in this movie. I think I might have missed them already. But... Uh, when he's captured one of the girls, one of the girls is, oh, oh there it is. Ah, crap. Ah. Yeah, that's I the one. <laughs> I was going to say that I knew there was boobs in this movie. <laughs> Sadly, ladies and gentlemen, you can't see that on my channel, on my or uh, Matt's channel, I should say. Because, well, <laughs> YouTube um... is a bit, YouTube is a bit weird when it comes to that <laughs> you, you can imagine it because it's pretty much what is in the center of the screen <laughs> mm, yeah how oh, about the boobs are gone already i have to keep my eye out for that Cindy's doing a bit of a cindy lopper um yeah this. a little bit cindy mm. lopper thing going on here she wants to have fun by kicking stingray's ass <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all in on it they're rotten. They're rotten from the top down. <laughs> Came with a frame. <laughs> Anything new for you, sexy police man? <laughs> <laughs> Too low. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> and he just drives up to the warehouse because yeah that's another thing he operates out of a warehouse for some reason Stingray. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> every bad guy has a warehouse connection yeah sure <laughs> yeah. the warehouse connection is a great name for a film I think mm, yeah I, I, I smell a movie idea coming yeah. yeah the warehouse connection it's just they literally just make cardboard boxes <laughs> yeah and oh, steam the with the just... eyes, the eyes in a oh, fish yeah. tank. We gotta give this a bit of a close up when he finds it. Oh yeah, the eyes have it. <laughs> steam. Yeah. The the other thing with these factories are they're often very steamy for no apparent reason. Yeah. With the red uh, light. Yeah. Oh my word! Why does he have eyes in the fish tank? <laughs> Oh man, I thought yeah, that was. I, thought I think that was, he's uh... literally going to say that now. <laughs> Why is this? Yeah, there he is. What stingray have eyeballs in a fish tank for? <laughs> <laughs> if thought, what do you think? Why did he pick it up? What do you think it was? Frog spawn or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, let's have a look and see what tools uh, Stingray's got. <laughs> Crazy looking Stingray, we're sorry, yeah, definitely. Uh, back cover of VHS I found has nudity, Republic uh, picture release, NTSC of the Wicker Man has a pick of the chicks, uh, pig and circle by the Stonehenge blocks, great find. Ah. Oh, I'm going to uh, not the, go and not visit, the visit uh, not the bees. Visit you visit the set of the um of the Wicker Man um around November time. So that's huh? cool. Yeah. It's about an hour and a half away from where I live now. I kind of trace the coast around towards Scotland. Oh awesome. That's where it has collection. Yeah, some ha some he some heavy uh, heavy Sounds like a heavy DJ. house. <laughs> Sound of tunes, yeah. <laughs> Dig the house music, acid and electro hip hop related, all good styles. Nice. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that you get to touch those eyeballs. Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, you just you just take it for granted. That's um, everybody has a fish tank full of eyeballs, do they not? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Who doesn't? All the cool kids happen. <laughs> Look at his eyes here. Yeah, that yeah. Look at his eyes there. Oh, here well, we go. Well, Stingray, I could better be going. <laughs> I'm just getting at it. No, you won't. <laughs> You're dead. Oh, and another pair of eyes added to the collection. <laughs> <laughs> the fish are not the fish aren't that interested in them. They're not gonna they're not eating them all. <laughs> yeah. Well, my eye collection's coming on great, so <laughs> We're collecting physical media and he's collecting his eyes or, or you know, <laughs> collecting eyes. <laughs> he's like um the guy with the ears around his neck. <laughs> oh and uh, Universal Soldier, Dolph. Yeah, yeah. Universal Soldier. Yeah. Farm boy. Yeah. yeah. Those those two those two American guys, those two farm boys. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite bit where Americans... uh, yeah. yeah, where Rodolfo Lundgren calls him farm boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a great movie. I should definitely do a watch party that one. Oh man, I love Universal Soldier. Love Universal Soldier. Yeah, it's yeah. it's one of my favorites of Van Damme and of Lundgren's. Yeah, it's great. Go ahead. I'm all ears. I love when he takes that ear chain. I'm all ears. <laughs> I'm all eyes. <laughs> Stingray, like, I'm all eyes. <laughs> yeah. All eyes on us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tupac, all eyes on me is playing in the background. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the next thing you need to edit for your channel is Stingray. Yeah, that should all be a Stingray fan edit. Montage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All eyes on me. Oh, and Betty is dead, I think. Oh, there goes yeah, another one. Yeah. Oh my God! Oh, they're they're oh they're Stingray. Oh, <laughs> the Stingray. Well, that, that looked like a very uh, uh, hard hitting punch. Yeah. yeah it's really kind of his his face was very rubbery then. <laughs> yeah. It's like At least he doesn't think that she's Anna. She he knows that she's the uh, psychiatrist. Yeah. yeah. She's like um what's she called? Ginny in um Friday the thirteenth part two, where she kind of understands the psychology. Yeah, was, of, yeah. Uh, of Jason when, when he's Jason, uh, when yeah. she's tricking Jason, you know, mommy's here and stuff. Yeah, it's a little bit like yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why she wears glasses, you see. She's intelligent. That's another uh, Godfrey homage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, he's wearing his mother's perfume. She's wearing mother's perfume. Van Damme, Jet Li, Brandon Lee, Jackie Chan, who I grew up with, really tons of estate for those. Yeah, those guys are all amazing. Yeah. It was Van Damme that, and, yeah. uh, and, and Sloan and stuff for me and Seagal, but yeah. I like all the police stories for me were, were, were huge. Yeah. Like police story one, two. And I haven't seen three for a while, but I have a feeling that I, I, I'm pretty sure I remember it being awesome as well. Mm. Super Cop. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make you some tea. No, no tea. So it's a no itself, dice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's his favorite position right there. Yeah, he's got. He's well, definitely got his things. We're not going to get another. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's got his things he likes. You know, eyes, 
Um, yeah. Bending people over. Red hair, yeah. perfume, mullets, steak. <laughs> wow, we could write a book about this guy. <laughs> the, the the psych profile of uh, of one Mr. Stingray. Yeah. Mr. Stingray. <laughs> First name Sting, last name Ray. <laughs> yeah. It's like James Bond. My name is Ray yeah. Stingray. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the um, the the animated not marionette thing Stingray in the in in uh, in Holland in the Netherlands? Um, uh, Jerry Anderson who so. did Thund Thunderbirds. Yeah. Um, he did one called Stingray and it was all underwater. And it was oh, basically... I haven't heard of that. Yeah, yeah. I, it was on quite a lot when I was a kid. It was, um, but it was made in I think made in the seventies or something. It was basically um, these sort of fish kind submarines that were kind of looked like fish. Mm. Yeah, it was weird. But I just made, I was just thinking, um, you don't hear the name Stingray very much. Oh yeah. Certainly not as a Christian name, anyway. <laughs> no. That's his name's like Stingray Jones. Stingray Jones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, says, uh, I think it's I think it's my favorite of the uh, Friday films as well, part two. Uh, Do you know what? He's having a bit of a resurgence. Um, I think people are starting to appreciate that without all of that work that's done in that film, you don't really understand the character or care about his his character very much. Um, it, it takes it in a new direction. And I think the same goes for um, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. I think people are starting to come around to that a lot more as well in recent years. Oh, yeah, they definitely are. Yeah, yeah. And this guy has got... look like oh. fish 20,000 leagues beneath the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Psychiatrists don't do good for you. Yeah, it's true. She's, she's the only like one. Myers. Yeah. <laughs> She's the only one who doesn't like in the welfare. The only person who doesn't do any kung fu. And she had a little, you know. Little oh yeah, she did. She did a boop. Yeah. She did a boop, boop on his head yeah. before. <laughs> she booped him. I learned that. I learned that at karate school. <laughs> boop. Got the, the massive Zach Morris style mobile phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's it going, Mr. Myers? Always good to see you. Here. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's like again, subtitle wise is not helping us out very much. It's just music, music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at least my subtitles are a bit more um helpful, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the um the, the swearing on the um telephone? Let me look. It says something like Fuck Central. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it does. Maybe that's where they live. Rare, but in some cases, I prefer the seconds. This is true with Friday the 13th and Phantasm. The sequels are better. Hey, mm. we got a Michael Howdy. Yeah, we do have Mr. Myers in the chat now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I think I prefer the because, Yeah, a lot of people with a lot of sort of, of these series, they prefer a second one, like Terminator 2. Um, Godfather 2, um, Rocky 2, even. Um, there's a case made for, yeah. for the second installment in the series, yeah. yeah. Undefeatable 2. <laughs> I wish, I wish there was <laughs> the Re Stingray's Revenge, the return of Stingray. Yeah, make, yeah. make him a zombie. Why not? This movie's already crazy, so why not? <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Just paint him Zom blue zombie or something. Yeah, 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 I could see that. <laughs> Or foot should have got yeah. punched in. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of hell of a lot of hairspray gone into this. I think it's the hairspray that got to his mind and created all these these issues. Yeah. The back the backcomb, and he backcombed so much that he backcombed his brain. <laughs> oh, right in the nice. Garbo boxes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The lightest cardboard boxes ever. Oh, we have a fantastic fight scene in this warehouse with the cardboard boxes. Yeah, I love yeah. it. I'm all in for it. <laughs> nice little uh, leg sweep there. Little M. Bison movement. 
and going to kick that center of a big bison's ass so hard. I love Street Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a guilty pleasure. I think I saw that one at the uh, the cinema. Mm. I always that appear dimension of horror movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's weird when stuff like that happens when you say a thing and then somebody with that name or somebody is talking about that thing at the exact yeah. moment. It's so weird. Go below Godfather. Yeah, I love the Godfather film. Well, like the other night I was um on Don's um stream and I was talking about on the waterfront and which had been one of my favorite films of all time. And oh, then I love that I, film. And uh, yeah. it's, it's so good. And I went out. Could have had it, class. I could have been a contender. I could have been. So, I love oh, that man. scene. Yeah. Don't have a bomb. <laughs> um, Still that's what I am, well, Charlie. Yeah. yeah. Johnny Friendly. Still because of you, Charlie. Um, <laughs> you was my brother. Yeah, I love that film. <laughs> it's amazing. But it was on, it was literally on TV. The, I literally switched the TV on and it was starting the moment, like just randomly starting after just after I finished talking to Don about it. It's really weird when stuff like that happens. Mm. Right, Do you know the um, a bit of a close up? The Godfather um, is a weird one for me, whereas I could never get into the films too much because I read the book first and I loved the book so much. I felt like the film yeah, left, lo the left loads out. <laughs> yeah. It's a stuff, a lot of the stuff that, the book, that, that they leave out in the first film, they put back in the second film because, of course, you get the flashback mm. scenes of young Vito's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah, she got the swords. Of course, I mentioned it yeah. so specially. And of, very conveniently, there's a samurai sword there as well for him. To yeah, uh, cowboy <laughs> boxes and samurai swords. <laughs> what kind of factory is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stingrays. <laughs> Stingrays eyeball factory. Stingray with a vengeance. <laughs> yeah. That should be a sequel. Yeah. Yeah. Sting harder. Speak of <laughs> evil and rises. <laughs> Sting no evil. Someone definitely likes red hair. Yeah, he even sprays a bit on. Yeah, he definitely did. <laughs> yeah, he's he's got he's got his things. He likes what he likes. What yeah. can I say? He's he's not doing any harm. All he's doing is taking a few people's eyeballs out, killing a few people, breaking the necks. Give the yeah. guy a break. M Bison, Garland and Vigo were my hack fires. I was mean. Did not like to spend quarters. <laughs> yeah, M Bison, the slide, the slide with M Bison. You can just do it over and over again and pretty much win everything <laughs> on the on the arcade. Anyway, there we go. So look at that epic stare down by Cynthia right there. Yeah, she's doing it. They're she's just getting... frozen in time. This is all in slow motion. <laughs> They're just. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Now it's movement. <laughs> we're preparing for the final duel. Well, it's not even the final duel, though, is it? Because we changed no, locations that, again. That's the thing. It looks like there's mm. uh, the final fight, but there's another fight after. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if you the like this is fight, another <laughs> frozen in time moment. Look at this. All the things. Yeah, this is a... just standing there. Yeah. The little John Woo, John Woo, God yeah. Godfrey hom hom yeah. homage. Little John Woo. Yeah. Yeah, I would say. But instead yeah. of instead of snow and birds, we've just got like um, packing 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 uh, peanuts. Uh, peanuts. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Kind of could have been on. a stingray. I could have had a. Uh, I could have had eyes in my fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> I could see it now. <laughs> yeah. Books are always better. Fight Club and Fear and Loathing Las Vegas. Uh, more examples. Yeah. Mm. I've read quite. Yeah, I've read quite a few Hunter Thompson. Oh, this Hang is the cliche. There. Yeah, his partner dies. Yeah, he was. He was two days from retirement. Yeah. <laughs> he's on his boat they'll live forever <laughs> he's going to get Mendoza for this one <laughs> it's not the comedy speaking of which Stingray's eyes are like Arnie's at the end of Total Recall so my yeah. Says, yeah, no, I don't know. <laughs> he's like that all the way through the film though <laughs> yeah. she's like I need to I do some I... thinking let, let me put my glasses on <laughs> Inside that bag, is it just a load of eyes? Is it just like a, a carry a carry case of eyes? We're going around re trying to uh, reunite all these eyes with the owners. <laughs> Putting them back to the rightful owners. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hang on, you gave me one blue and one green. What's going on? Uh, I think this factory might be a front. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Could mm. be <laughs> for his uh, eyeball smuggling uh, racket. <laughs> yeah. 
it's worth a fortune on the black market those eyes those eyeballs <laughs> it's human trafficking but in very small amounts of humans <laughs> like fingers <laughs> yeah eyeballs yeah this guy anytime they put somebody on a door to protect someone it always looks yeah. like the, the least effectual guy like he's a hundred percent gonna the get most killed. incompetent yeah yeah exactly i work security you should put me on the door Stingray wouldn't yeah. have a chance. <laughs> You'd be like this. Come on, Stingray, <laughs> take me on, man. Stare, stare him out. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, okay, I have to read this. Uh, Lol, Michael, great images for a five-year-old at the time I watched it. Such a good movie. Philip K. Dick wrote so many things that are still setting standards. Oh, there's a reference to Total Recall. Uh, uh, the M M Matrix can be traced back to him as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good point. He hasn't been covert. You know what? That, that's true. He's, he's going to whip out his cobra knife here in a few minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or the night slasher knife from the movie Cobra, I should say. It's not the film. It's not the knife that Cobra in the film uses. But There's been some good fights in hospitals over the years. Mm, definitely. Do Dr. Johnny Wu, for one, he, he's always fighting in hospitals. It's honestly, he, he does more fighting than he does doctoring. <laughs> yeah. He's. Uh... Dr. Johnny, woo! Yeah, we just missed it, but yeah, forgot my sunglasses, what he said, that's why they go back, it's the latest plot yeah. device in history. Yeah, it's like, I forgot, mean, oh, cool. shoot, gosh, damn it, I forgot my sunglasses, yeah. Yeah, but they've been layering the fact that the guy is very cool all the way through the film, and the cool mm. people need sunglasses, so it makes sense. That's true, that's true. Yeah, you, you can't just leave them. That'd be crazy. Instead of those. Yeah. Recall is my favorite. Never quite warm to Blade Runner. Yeah, for some reason I never either. I mean, I'll have to, I'll have to give it a rewatch. But... Fan, yeah. yeah, I know Larry's Larry's a huge fan of uh, Blade Runner and um, and the, and the oh, new. I one love. Don't get me wrong. I love Rutger Hauer in it. I think his uh, scenes are so uh, fantastic. But yeah, yeah it just leaves just... me a bit cold. Um... Yeah, because I'm a cyborg. <laughs> Now this is where it gets hot. This is where it gets cool, hot and yeah, cool in the same, the same, the same film. <laughs> oh yeah, and see if I can give it a close up. Uh, it is the Cobra knife. I think it's like, the exact same uh, knife as the one from. This Cobra. is um, got to be one of the best ends to a film. I for, the most fun ends to a film, anyway. Oh, definitely. <laughs> it's like um, have you seen Blood Debts? The end of Blood Debts. That's a that's got yeah, a good rings uh, a bell. A funny yeah. end. Fingers There's not enough films where there's just a crazy it. end where you go, oh shit, and then it ends. Like that's what you want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can see it there. Yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely the cobra knife. Hmm. Come on, give give us a close up on it. Ah, that's too fast. I know there's a moment coming up where he's licking the blood of the knife. I'm gonna put a close up on that. Ooh, see it. Ow. Ooh, that's gonna stink. Ray. Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Yeah, that's definitely the cobra knife. Mmm, I like it. I mean, you can say I'm a bit of a fan of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great poster. It is. Yeah, I love that movie. Mm -hmm. I just picked up a few days ago. And it's newly released in Germany, a nice media book of Cobra. Ooh. Um, oh, right. Okay, cool. Just picked this up a few days ago. I was, I was browsing my physical media shop that I go to. And uh, right. yeah, they had it in there. I was like, oh, yeah, this bad boy is coming with me. Yeah, that is cool. Oh, here we go. One of my favorite movies. Ah, yeah. oh, you ruined my shirt, you son of a bitch. Oh, here we oh, go. Yeah, he, just pull yeah. off the shirt, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'll do it too." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time to even it up. I think. Um, It'd be um, funny if he pulled his Cynthia. trousers off as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think actually there. Cynthia has commented on on this scene. Um, the two guys that are fighting, they were like constantly flexing their muscles and stuff, making their muscles look tight and everything. So they were just fighting while flexing. So it was hard for them to really. Uh, yeah. move because they're yeah. so stiff from flexing all the yeah. time yeah yeah it's like rock'em sock'em robots <laughs> and it's actually very similar to rock'em sock'em robots 
with the, with the, the, the ending. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's it's laying there on the ground. It's definitely the cobra knife. Yeah, that's the one oh. knife I wish I had a replica of. I mean, I have, uh, I have it with me because shameless plug. I'm doing a Sylvester Stallone stream tomorrow, but I actually have my Rambo knife right there with me. I was just admiring this uh, before. Pick your teeth like, with. Uh, uh, this, uh, yeah, but I wish I had that cobra knife. That's an awesome one. Here she comes to save the day. Yeah, so her arm got cut earlier, and that's why she's in a sling. So it's like a slight cut. It's, yeah. She's like yeah. doing some locker room um, towel play here. <laughs> oh, there goes his eye. <laughs> well, one of them anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's what you get, man. That's what you get. An eye Karma. for an eye. Karma, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I told you this film was deep. And he's still able to fight. And that this, is, this guy is... Uh... He's, a, he's, a he's almost unstoppable, almost. Yes. He's <laughs> almost undefeatable, you might say. Ooh, that's a good one, mm. yeah. Mm. <laughs> we'll use that. <laughs> that should be the title. <laughs> <laughs> undefeatable, I'm not even sure is an actual word. Yeah, when I type it on my phone, it always has a red stripe under it, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Yeah. I mean, it is now. It is. Copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go, here we go. This is the... Oh, oh, oh there he loses his other eye. Cynthia got blood on her. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, similar to the Cobra ending where Cobra takes, you know, Brian Thompson's character and uh, hangs him on a hook. Um, similar ending. So I think this movie is a bit of a homage to Cobra as well. <laughs> also, um, he's a stingray and he's on a hook. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's the stinger. <laughs> Pun intended. <Yeah. laughs> Keep an eye for his thing. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> I see you later. I see you. That reminds me of another Stallone film. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me put my head in your sweaty chest. Yeah, definitely, Michael. Uh, not the soft, not a grunting. <laughs> that, He's not going to be there was a lot of grunting. This makes me laugh. It's like they're all kind of there in their leathers, in their gang things, just out. Yeah, uh, yeah. In front of a grave. And it's like it's this, this happy ending, like we, we're all going to college. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll all go to college together. I, you're going to college. You're going to college. And you're going to college. <laughs> Gang college. <laughs> <laughs> and like um it goes literally from a guy being hanged by his eye his eye sockets to a, a sensitive scene by a graveyard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why the hell not. Yeah. yeah. She's a lieutenant, I think. She's got the, um, like, she's been promoted in her gang. On her. She's got her epaulets. Oh, yeah. Let her go the MMA gloves as well. Yeah. I'm hanging up my gloves, my gun, my badge. I'm not going to be needing those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can buy some new gloves. Funny close-ups of him just spitting a glass full of water for some reason. <laughs> Nailed it. Spit, yeah. spit take. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, our IQs are too high. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we should go to college too? Yeah, everyone can go to college. Go ahead and laugh. I enrolled you guys. <laughs> Yes, you. I enrolled you too. <laughs> Everybody's getting yep. enrolled. Yeah, for sure. What about me? I'm a cop. Yeah, you're going to college too. <laughs> and got the credits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice Miami connection style end. Mm. Let's see, Cynthia Welker, Don Neum, Donna Jason, and a bunch of people I don't recognize. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Ben. Hospital patient number one, number two, number three, number four. Huh. There were four <laughs> hospital patients. <laughs> I was hospital patient number four. Oh, there were there were seven police extras. So gonna. Yeah. Oh, Man oh here the different oh, gangs. Maniac, so got maniac, Eagle maniac gang, gang, Diablo gang, Eagle gang, Diablo red gang. Yeah. The red dragon must gang. be the guy in the red. The red PJs. Oh yeah. Kickboxers, Italian gang. Oh, there were, hey, there was an Italian gang. You talk like it is. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Forget what about it. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> uh, well, anyway, let's get this comment in. 
Blade Runner took me time to appreciate it's a slow go. I'm a very sci-fi core, though, more so than horror. Uh, comedy film really took over my brain, though. Yeah, that's fair enough, yeah. Uh, this film was ruined in the UK. It had about two and a half minutes of cuts. Ooh. I think we were pretty much in sync for this one, weren't we? Yeah. I don't know. The one I've got is a, um, I think it's like I said, I think it's a Region Zero. Mm. Agent Zero. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I hate it when he cuts stuff out. Definitely. Yeah, I don't think you can just enroll someone with it without asking. Yeah, that's fair point. And you maybe have to have some sort of like qualifications or like educational background, not like we're all in a gang together. <laughs> and thanks to Vinegar Syndrome for the uh, awesome 4K that I yeah. just watched. <laughs> and a lovely thank, yeah, thanks to um, it says Carlton in the UK on the one I watched, which is weird. Mm. Uh, there's like an old regional TV TV channel. They did a few horror, horror stuff as well. Oh. Let's see. Let's remove the disc. Uh, right, there we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go with this one. I'm a member of Crow T Robots. Uh, Faps. Film anti uh, preservation <laughs> society. That's on my VCRs. I find with the movie Supernova, if it eats the tape in the test, it's still a win. Ah, yeah, yeah. Always try try out a, a movie you don't like in the <laughs> Usually use an old VHS of Super Mario Brothers if I get a new VCR, hoping it will break it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me. We made it. Survivors. That was enjoyable, though. There's worse. Uh, though there is worse Steven Seagal at times. <laughs> yeah, Stingray is 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 just untouchable for my in my eyes. He's undefeatable. Special, special, yeah, he's undefeatable. <laughs> yeah, and the film should have been called under. Oh, it is called Undefeatable. Ah, there yeah, you go. <laughs> now we get it. Like we said, this is a very very deep film. <laughs> Stingray Wrangler. Uh, yeah, I wonder who the Stingray Wrangler was in this film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate that Something movie, Michael, fishy. but I need it. The video game related stuff has value in VHS. Oh, did I know that? Or rather, really? Oh um, man, I have loads of I have loads of VHS wrestling VHS things. Hmm. Uh, the UK DVD is uncut. It's only the VHS that was knackered. Oh. Oh, there you go. There's only Stingray that remains. Uh, he's he's cut. He's cut at the end of the film. <laughs> Awesome watch, bro. Oh, thanks so much. Uh, thank uh, you for tuning in for this one. We had, we had a blast. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, fair hand. I'll do my um, Carlos Santana. <laughs> <laughs> Stingray versus Seagal, only in our hearts and minds. Ooh, that would have been an epic showdown. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jason Seagal. No. <laughs> <laughs> All Seagal moves are 10 out of 10, this is common knowledge, is it? <laughs> Oh, I can think of at least a handful that uh, that aren't. Yeah. His live his yeah. live uh, concert DVD. <laughs> Actually, I should add Michael Myers is similar to me. He has seen every Seagal film, so ah, cool. he's a Seagal um, um, aficionado expert um, as well. Victim, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not a word for it. <laughs> Those who know know Michael. We're all in the loop. <laughs> I mean, that's a worry. We have to try and, yeah, the, the people do tend to copy hyper realistic films like this. Mm, yeah. It's quite influential. I kind of saw that's the word I was looking for. There you go. <laughs> Carrier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Software. That's not a word. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> So it's time to plug our channels, I would say, Matt. Uh, anything coming up on your channel you want to discuss? Um, I, an interview tomorrow um, with um, a director called Gene Dolders, who's done a Jallo-inspired um, British film. And it, and um, there's some behind-the-scenes stuff in there that he's, uh, that he's shared as well. So that's tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's called The Blade Cuts Deeper. Um, perfect to go with Stingray. Um, 
Uh, yeah, it's really interesting. He, he he's um he's a cinematographer and by trade, so he the way from what I've seen of it, the way it looks is amazing. Like highly influenced by by Jalo with a with a British twist, which I haven't seen before. So that's pretty cool. And then that's after awesome. that. Yeah, after that, I've got an interview with a guy the week, the following Sunday, um, a guy who is the co-executive producer of the new Police Academy documentary. So, yeah. Ooh. So there's two two fun things. Each each Sunday, the next three Sundays, I've got some pretty cool interviews coming up and then um, just other silly stuff every couple of days as well. So thanks for, thanks for asking me. Uh, and also, thanks for having me as well. I appreciate being on your channel. It's been too long, man. Yeah, no, yeah, we definitely have to do it again. I just have to switch out my uh, my earbuds because these are uh, running out. Just quickly switch these. <laughs> so good, sir. <clears throat> testing, testing. Oh, I think we're good. Yeah. Hey, hear me loud and clear. Can hear you. Good buddy. Good buddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. As I was saying, yeah. No worries. Uh, yeah. We definitely uh, have to do it again. We have to do another one. Um, yeah. It's just too much fun. These watch parties. I always love doing these. Um, it was great. Um, we don't remake this one. Just like Taxi Driver. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> they Sting, do a Sting sequel, Ray, though. Travis Bickle, very similar. <laughs> yeah. Stingray is a role model for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The oh man, I love that film. Idiocracy is so good. Yeah. We we are living in idiocracy right now. <laughs> <laughs> More interested in the cinematography than directing. Always have oh, been your, very yeah, visual. Gene, yeah, jeans are really interesting. Um a really interesting guy who's, who's called Gene Dolders. So yeah, hopefully people enjoy that from his perspective as going from cinematography and learning the trade and doing adverts and and, and promotional videos and then taking that into making his first horror film. So yeah, mm. that should be pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Great way to start today with a film. Thank you, Broskis. Ah, oh, no worries. Uh, thank you Thanks for for, for being there. Being alone for rice, yeah. Bless yeah. Definitely. As I sneak to the bathroom to get a cigarette in. <laughs> <laughs> as long as that's all you're doing, that's fine, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. isn't that kind of show. This is this, not. This could uh, this could go a few ways, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna look in the mirror. Are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah I got the mirror there. You I don't see anybody me? else in there. Yeah. So you must be talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got excited, then thought it was just a new police academy. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the um, documentary about it, which they've been trying to make for years. Oh, they're the same guys who made the RoboDoc documentary. Um, I still have to watch that. Which yeah, is really, yeah. really good. But um, yeah. it's such a massive undertaking. But they have started interviewing and. Um, like cast members together and, and getting lots of people. So the other day, Zed and Sweet Chuck were being interviewed. I saw a clip from that, so that was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. But <laughs> just reading this, it just looks like the, uh, the shower scene in Scarface. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, you don't have, there's no chainsaws around here, so. Phew. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. Right? I, I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to, I don't have to explain Which, that one. Yeah, yeah, that's Smoke. true. Yeah, Stingray sprays his, and Travis shaves his. Yeah, who's got who's got the better yeah. look? You know, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Who, who's got the more iconic look? That's the question. A lot of people, a lot of people think Robert De Niro is the is the superior actor, but I'm thinking Don, whatever he's called, Niam is the yeah. <laughs> yeah. is the real deal. <laughs> Great Italian accents. <laughs> I'll be rolling with the Godfather. Right. Well, thank you. I thought it was an impression you couldn't feel. So, yeah. <laughs> you come into my house on a damn Madonna's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Love the Godfather. Oh, yeah. 
I love uh, Marlon Brando for me is the greatest screen actor of all time. He's my obviously he's up there. He definitely, definitely. He, yeah. he definitely peaked. Um, but what <laughs> what he yeah. did and and, and the, how influential he was and it's just yeah, just incredible. Um, just like I say, my it's, it, it, I think it is my. I've always said it is, and I've, I've, I, every time I watch it, I, I it reinforces it's my favorite film of all time on the waterfront. Mm. It is a it is a cracker. It is a really good film. Definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sweet yeah. Chuck the Legend. He, he'd have been good in this film, taking on uh, Stingray. Mm, that would uh, be I, I, have a, I feel like um, Mr. Z, uh, Bobcat Goldthwait, has a very similar acting style to, um, to, to Stingray. He's got the eyes and that. Looks like, looks like his head's about to explode in every scene. <laughs> I feel like waking up to a dead horse, yeah. <laughs> well, Still I think such Godfrey, an iconic scene. Godfrey Ho was uh, flogging a dead horse. He's about 60, 60, yeah, 60 ninja films. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, Sting, oh, yeah, the mashup we never knew we needed. Yeah. That's it. That was so cool. Should do a fan out of. Uh, yeah, there's so many, so yeah, many ideas come out, come out of this stream. Mm, they always do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, there's, there's only one by Puzo. Is there? Oh no, wait, he did yeah. another one. Um, there's the last Don as well, isn't it? But that's not yeah. the same. Not the same. Not the same people. Not the same characters. Um, it's quite. It's quite stocky, isn't it? It's quite. It's quite big. But I yeah. can't remember. To be honest, I read it in my in my teens. So um, I can't remember how long it. So I used to read a lot more voraciously then than I do now. I don't. I don't have the um, the focus to be able to sit and read as much as I used to do. Mm. I'd like to though. I've got a lot of books, so I just don't read them all. Oh, did anybody say Cynthia Rothrock, by the way? Oh, she is. There's my autograph picture. You can see it, but yeah. Yeah, I'll take that, Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> Get a full tour. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, as I'm talking about this gentleman tomorrow, I should plug that. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on in your channel? Yeah, tomorrow evening um, at what is it, 8 p.m. UK time? Yeah, I think it is 8 p.m. Uh, I will be having uh, my good buddy Scott, the movie critic, on for a discussion of our favorite uh, Sylvester Stallone characters. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of Stallone talk. Uh, some of his characters. I think we're both going to do our top ten. Uh, some honorable mentions for sure. I think we, you know, with the chat, we'll drift on to some other Stallone topics and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's going to be all about Stallone tomorrow at uh, eight PM on this uh, channel. <laughs> nice, be there. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, Stallone is one of my favorite actors. He's always been. I mean, grew up on the on the Rocky films. Uh, you know, growing up as a six, seven year old kid, it was the Rocky films and and the Bond films for me really that got me started into. Uh, well, into movies really and then 11 i saw scarface and then that, that was it for me so um <laughs> that that really solidified my uh well movie fandom i guess uh what is the right word my appreciation love for movies i guess um but yeah the foundation was laid by by rocky and and the bond films as a kid so yeah, yeah I would agree uh, with that myself actually love rocky obviously yeah, I'm wearing yeah. It yeah. Nice. <laughs> and i got the one more round the Tommy. one more round one more round, one more round. Yeah, mm. got the over the he top. He stole cap. my room. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Dad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got a lot of Stallone merch now. I mean, obviously, got the uh, the Rambo knives. Got the, the first three knives as, as replicas. Um, got you know Rocky boxing shorts and and the gloves and everything, all from the slice Stallone shop. This is of course from over the top, the hats. So, nice. yeah, big big Sly fan. So tomorrow is gonna be uh, it's gonna be an epic one for sure uh, with Scott. I know he's a he's a big Stallone. I think it's his favorite actor of oh, all cool. time. So it's gonna oh, be a cool cool. Uh, discussion. Um, I, yeah, I don't again, know, people, I don't think people, I've seen his channel. So that'd be good. Mm. Again, people know my favorite actor, of course, is Al Pacino. But I would say Sly is right up there. I mean, I, I would say Pacino. Uh, De Niro, um, and then I'll probably go with Stallone, or I, I might even put Stallone over De Niro. I mean, it's it's so hard to call for me, really, because as great as De Niro is, I mean, Rocky just had such an impact on my life as a kid. So I might I might give it to Stallone for that reason, but yeah, Oof. it's gonna be interesting yeah, that's anyway. A, <laughs> that's gonna be yeah, that's gonna be a good conversation. You got me thinking now. I was trying to think of my own, and I I, I, I struggle. Um, I, I was. <laughs> 
<laughs> mm. I think films films by actors that I've seen a lot of have probably got like the ones that I love, like Marlon Brando, <laughs> Woody Allen. Obviously, he's one of the greatest action heroes of all time. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. I, I maybe more of a director person than an actor person, but um, ah, I, al- yeah, I always, I always attach myself to. Um, when I was a kid, I was I, I used to really watch anything that Tom Selleck was in because I was a massive fan of Magnum PI, mm. um, like Three Men and a Baby and all those kind of stuff. I loved, I loved as well. But um, Marlon Brando, obviously, I loved all the Rocky films as a kid. I loved, um, like I said, I was a massive fan of. Um, I, what got me really into Jean Claude Van Damme was Universal Soldier. Where I know most people, it's like kickboxing and things like that. But like for me, I was I came to his films a bit later. Yeah, Bloods for the Kickboxer. Those were the ones for me. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. What, maybe Bruce Willis was somebody I used to always like watching his stuff. But um, I don't know. I don't know if I, I like John Cusack. I'm a big fan of like like oh yeah, sort of earlier and up, up to around Gross Point Blank, which is also one of my favorite. Favorite film, so yeah, I don't know, man. But uh, Marlon Brando is always the my go guy when it comes to what I would say is a great screen actor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree. My Brando's up there as well. Like I said, I mean, he's definitely a huge influence on, on a lot of actors. Like, I, I would wager a guess if it wasn't for Brando, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have had people like Pacino and De Niro in, in, yeah. in the way that they are because they were very yeah, the, inspired uh, by the by method. Brando. Um, you know the yeah. the. The, the method and and the thing about that as well that like even James Dean who a lot of people are influenced by James Dean well James he was as well. he was influenced by he was influenced by Marlon Brando he wanted to be Marlon Brando there's a really funny story about how um he watched how Marlon Brando once walked into a room rolled up his coat and threw it into the corner and the next party they went to this James Dean came in and did exactly the same thing <laughs> the next time <laughs> so it's kind of interesting really because obviously then you've got all, a lot of modern actors who try and behave like um like like james dean so yeah it's 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 all um interwoven isn't it i guess yeah um yeah the island of dr moreau that was an interesting one yeah yeah it's it's interesting it's more i think the documentary the making of and the law behind it is probably more interesting than the film <laughs> yeah like all the all the richard stanley stuff and all the behind the scenes stuff and all the Marlon Brando weirdness is is like yeah, proper <laughs> yeah. interesting. Yeah, I'm watching um, Police Academy two with Gareth on Monday, so that's ah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, so that'll be good. There you go. Actually, but, uh, number two, the, two prefer second Police Academy. Ah, okay, there we are. Yeah. Ah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Their first assignment, Gareth and Mai's first assignment. <laughs> Which characters are we? I'll let you decide. <laughs> We'll find out on Monday. <laughs> find out on Monday. Yeah. Uh, not the original Dr. Man, Island, Island of Dr. Moreau. One of my favorite films. H. G. Wells, Island of the Lost Souls, 1932. Huh? It's a must-watch. Cool. I think you've said that before. I need to check that one out. Yeah. Now the Marlon Brand was more for comic relief. Love when Val Kilmer starts passing out drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That documentary, the Val Kilmer documentary, is interesting. Um, mm. It's just called Val. Um, with all because he because he's tape he taped so much of his life, didn't he? Um, yeah. Obviously, he's still with us, but like he taped so much of his sort of career. Um, Top Secret is another is a really underrated Val Kilmer film. It's it's so funny, so well made, and I just think he's incredible in it. Yeah. I'm a massive Zucker Brothers fan. Tune in tomorrow, Michael. It might surprise you or. His character in Rhinestone will rank yeah. for me because I, 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 admittedly, I really do love that film more than I should. So there's a chance his character from the movie could be in the top ten. <laughs> yeah. Rambo edges for me then probably Marion Cobrady. Hmm. Yeah. The first, um, first Blood. I don't. I think if people watch that in isolation, I think they'd be surprised on how much of a acting masterclass and yeah exactly and, and character study it is and how sensitive it is like how different it is to how the rest of the the, the, the films go i think that first one for me is uh, like a masterful film it is i just watched it before the stream actually because i'm oh. going through my uh, stallone films well, i'm not going to get through all of them uh, don't want to drop the fuckers but I am going through my massive fuckers. You got the fuckers movies. as well. <laughs> a lot of I'm watching movies. 
<laughs> I'm watching. I'm watching you. Uh, I got yeah. them as well. Yeah, it's my uh, mm. De Niro collection. Yeah, you really are the boss when it comes to having all these uh, all collections of people. This is it. This is why they call you El Jefe. <laughs> <laughs> They're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say that at the beginning of the stream, and I forgot. So oh, yeah. I always. Uh, I, I, I try. I try my best. I mean, I, I still have a few. <laughs> I still have a few Stallone films I, I should add to my collection. Um, the Escape Plan sequel, Spring to Mind. I don't own those, but for good right. reason. The first yeah, one. Yeah. The first one's okay. Oh, yeah. Listen. I love the first one. Yeah. 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 I think we said that. I think we talked about this. Yeah. Because I, I seem to remember saying to you, like, I think we both said we liked the first one, and then it, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, the first one has has him and Arnold, so you can't go wrong there. It's yeah, even though it should have happened in the eighties or nineties, but yeah, it's still a team up between them. It's still cool, so yeah. yeah. Shut up. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> awesome movie, car Scorsese is a legend. Yeah, definitely is. Yeah, my dad's side of family is like eighteen percent Sicilian, Italian, Greek mix. Uh, half Irish and English, but my core is Spartacus. <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah, um, Silence is a really underrated, not underrated, because everybody talks about Scorsese's films, but um, I think Silence is an incredible film that people maybe don't talk about enough. It's a brilliant I, I, I really liked it. I really liked it, yeah. It's hard watch. It's not an easy watch, but it's a good film. Yeah, this is something that should have happened, and, and maybe it, it will happen one day. Uh, there's still hope, but a Pacino and Stallone team up, yeah. I think I've heard, I've heard Sly say once, and Sly, it's like I know. <laughs> uh, I think oh, I've heard yeah, Mr. Mr. Stallone <laughs> say once um, that uh, he, he wanted to get Pacino for uh, Paradise Alley and the, um, oh, what's the guy's name? He's also in Judge Dredd, um, Armando Santi. Uh, and, and the oh, role yeah. that Armando Armand Santi played in uh, Paradise Alley. But yeah, Pacino oh, was busy and uh, they couldn't work it out. But he always wanted to work with him. It just never um, never worked out with the schedule and stuff. But It'd be cool yeah. to get Stallone and um, Henry Winkler in a, fil in a film um, in their older age because they were such good friends when they were younger. And that I watched that documentary and I didn't realize and they, how. And they did work together on uh, Lords of Flatbush. Yeah, yeah of course. Was yeah, film did, before, yeah, yeah, yeah Rocky. of course. It'd be yeah. great to see them work together now, like older, because because I Winkler's so good. He's he's good in everything. Like he was good in Arrested Development, and just like just seems like the most solid, cool person. He's definitely like a little hero of mine. He seems like a really gentle soul, kind person. He does. A really good, a really good actor. Yeah, um, funny as hell, and like yeah, super nice. Uh, Woody Allen comic genius, your director style for certain parks, uh, coordinating things well. Uh -huh, yeah, he's uh, like Annie Hall is definitely in my, probably my top five movies of all time. It's it's it's, it's hilarious. It's just a perfect comedy film. Mm. Uh, all great directors here. Yes, Stanley Kubrick, Coppola, yeah. David Lynch. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Co Coppola, not a, not a massive fan of Cronenberg. I was, uh, when I was doing my research for um, oh, yeah, yeah, for uh, about Crash, and he, he refused mm. to shake his hand and refused to give him the uh, the award. The um, the award the award that they essentially made up for Cronenberg was the, like the Audacity Award or whatever it was called. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I do love that film, Innocent Man with Salik. Yeah. yeah, he was so, he's so underrated. Good. That one, yeah. We really could have been we could be talking about him as Indiana Jones, couldn't we? You know, mm, if, yeah. yeah, could have been. Yeah, I was thinking about that when I saw that in the chat, Michael. The score, yeah, I saw that at the cinema. I, was I so actually really like. I actually really like the oh, score. Okay. It's, uh, I have it in my Maybe I need to rewatch it because I, I trust yeah. your judgment over over my judgment from 1999 <laughs> or whenever it came out. Um, <laughs> I watched it at the cinema, and I was, I, I think. Maybe I was disappointed that there was too much Edward Norton in it. <laughs> there was a lot of him, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not a great film to be fair, but I don't mind it as much. I uh, I thought it was pretty pretty decent, pretty solid. Yeah, yeah, solid, solid. I think is yeah, solid is probably a yeah a good descriptor. I think first assignment with the mystery blonde Navi Jaskar, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just need number seven on VHS now, which. <laughs> Top secret is really underrated. Yeah. It's amazing. Peter Cushing in that as well. Hunting Dad, Love Goes in the Darkness. Yeah, Ghost yeah. in the Darkness. Yeah. So Top Secret is underrated one because they were given such a massive budget and the, the success of Airplane, 
and then it didn't quite hit in the same way. Mm. It, it was seen as a flop, but when you watch it, it's got every type of joke you could possibly think of. They're like the the Zucker brothers' approach to writing comedy is literally like a joke every ten seconds. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So good. <laughs> Uh, funny how everyone's favorite Rambo is the one with the lowest body count. Awesome movie. It is, yeah. There's only one person that dies in the film, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's just it's a really, blood. really well-made film. And spoilers, it would have been too if you read the book. Um, originally, Rambo mm-hmm. wasn't supposed to make it himself as well. And they actually shot yeah. that ending. Yeah, Yeah, I think but, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah it's an extra yeah. on the uh, on the Blu-ray and 4K and stuff. Uh, yeah, I think I've, I've forgotten it. I'd forgotten that until you said it, though. <laughs> I'm glad you did. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, that's true. I remember that. <laughs> so uh, if things were as they were originally intended, there would have been a higher body count, if that makes sense, in First Blood. But then there wouldn't be a, wouldn't have been a First Blood Part 2. There wouldn't have been no Rambo 3, no John Rambo or Rambo 4, whatever it's called. There would have been no Last Blood. Yeah. Yeah, strange, man. Yeah, those directors. Yeah, mm, yeah. <laughs> definitely not. Yeah, I've seen so many movies, but don't think I've ever watched a Woody Allen. Oh. What's up, Tiger Lily? Is quite good. Um, like for the overdub, if you like Mystery Science Theater kind of stuff, a uh, good one to start with is Annie Hall because it's the best jokes. It's, it's the funniest one. If you don't like Annie Hall, you're probably not going to like Woody Allen. Um, mm. Some of the like the more serious ones, I'm not a massive fan of. I, I do like the like peak funny Woody Allen ones, the early funny ones, as they say. Cronenberg <laughs> is coming around to me late in life. I've only seen Nightbreed and only recently learned it was by him. Videodrome is oh, I, I do like Videodrome, one of my next Criterion pickups. I have always been uh Lynch. Shivers fan, is, a I guess. Good, is a good yeah. Cronenberg. I like Shivers, obviously The Fly, but Shivers is one maybe that I literally just watched for the channel recently and really enjoyed it and ended up buying it. Um, I like that film a lot. The yeah, score, the score. Yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah. I think Marlon Brando's last on-screen role, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is, yeah. I think it is, yeah. Mm-hmm. He was, uh, he, he, yeah, he was struggling in that film. The blonde on the Police Academy 2 cover I thought was Easterbrook, which is not even in the sequel. Yeah. Yeah, some of those um, Drew Struzan posters for Police Academy are amazing, particularly the fourth. Um, in the interview that I've got with the guy, he's got the signed, all the cast signed, and he's got the original Drew Struzan artwork with with no writing on it. It's just, just the picture of them mm. in the balloon. It's pretty amazing. He's done some great... Um, movie posters i know gareth interviewed um uh graham humphreys um, oh yeah yeah uh, who, who i've met as well and he's a really cool guy and he's done some great sort of retrospective artworks and things like that and i like his stuff but drew struzan i guess is the it's the iconic you know drawn art art but you know movie poster guy that Hard work, is, yeah. yeah yeah it's just the best Listen, Rapid listen, fire, listen. Robin Williams, maniac style humor thing that I get. Yeah. Oh, sleeper, yeah, sleeper. Sorry, score. I'm reading ahead. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we're getting there. <laughs> sorry, man. Sorry, man. I'm... No worries. It's my uh, my brain. Don't need to strain Fight Club for me. Oh, stain, stain, not strain, stain. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen the alternate Rambo. I don't think they want to end on a sour note. And yeah, we would have killed all hope for sequels. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think they actually uh, did, did a test audience with the you know, with the alternate ending, with the ending from the book. And I think uh, everybody hated it. They were like, oh, we're rooting for Rambo all throughout the film. And then he, he dies in the end. Uh, yeah. It did not get a good reception at the test screening, so they changed it. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, the sleeper. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sleeper's a good one. Bananas. Um, some of those early ones are all have some pretty good stuff. Everything you want to know about sex and afraid. Bananas ask. actually uh, interesting. You mentioned that Stallone has a uncredited cameo now. Oh, cameo, a oh. small, small bit part. Yeah, right. Hmm. I didn't know that. I've seen it. I didn't know. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I want to yeah. see. Um, is it uh, Titan? Um, because. It kind of takes crash and goes in a even wilder direction. <laughs> so, yeah. I think she ends up like 
like um, actually having sex with the car. <laughs> rather, wow. rather, rather, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit of a strange one. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes they have to give it the big Hollywood ending and uh, a happy ending and stuff. Yeah. That's the thing. Then there the are problem. some films that are very, very bleak and they have a terrible ending. And yeah, sometimes they're priced for it. Yeah, Cronenberg is definitely a um, somebody who fights against those those tendencies and certainly character arcs and things like that are not as and, and like giving people redeeming qualities he doesn't really care too much for doing that <laughs> <laughs> probably yeah it's a frank Oz. He, he called the uh, director all the way through making the yeah. story he just called it the muppet guy or, i've or, heard or that miss piggy i think it was yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, those are, those early ones are real um, Cronenberg ones where it's like really bleak, grey, concrete Canada is um, is pretty cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. I need to see. I need to see a couple awesome. like that. And there's that's supposed. Yeah, and and um, what was the other one he did? Um, is it an Infinity Pool? Hmm. Um, I want, I started watching Infinity Pool and then my my trial of should have run out. <laughs> Oh, this is Woody Allen, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Afraid, I think you wanted to know about sex and was afraid to ask or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it has that long title. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was around the time when you got like all those films with really long titles, like the Mel Brooks ones and other things. Like that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Not many yeah. Yeah. for example. They really, really don't. don't. They really don't. Yeah. And, and and I, and like um, there's a really interesting interview with J.G. Ballard, who wrote the Crash book, and um, Cronenberg, where they talk about um, making sure that the two things match by having the characters um, not like explaining away, not having them have a moral battle about their behaviors, just letting you see the things they do, and you can work it out for yourself uh, and, and not even though he was like getting tons of notes from hollywood to to change these things it's really interesting yeah mm. I, 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 that's what i like about him um i'm not like the world's biggest cronenberg fan but like I, I appreciate him as a kind of um i don't know what the word is like transgressor <laughs> <laughs> that's one word for it yeah yeah <laughs> And you need things like that in order to move on and and a lot of people used a lot of his ideas and stuff i think in hollywood because he was canadian and they kind of there was a physical distance there so they could just make a hollywoodized version of some of the stuff that he was doing mm. um, and, and feel they could get away with it <laughs> oh yeah gene, oh, gene wilder yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, and oh, there's one more comment here. Um, video drum, the fly, the brute, naked lunge, and exist existence. Oh, yeah, was I've not seen all of those. I've not, yeah, I've not seen all of my favorite cornerback movies. Yeah, video drum is, 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 is definitely a good one out of that list I've seen. I before. really liked video drum, yeah, because it's really old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think does that it's after Alien or before Alien? I can't remember. But um, yeah, the um, the Brood I couldn't get into very much. But um, I was I, when I watched. I only watched it once, and it was with Alan Gareth, and, and me, mainly we were talking about wrestling. So, me and me and Al were, and Gareth, Gareth was telling us to not talk about wrestling. So. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that, that makes more sense because I didn't picture Gareth for a wrestling fan. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't get pressures to change the flies then, and given that was a big yeah. studio film. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. That's another great one. I do like it. was still a hit. It was a massive hit, wasn't it? So, yeah. mm. All right, guys, I think that is everything for tonight. Um, Epic. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for Matt's upcoming videos and interviews and stuff. On uh, Monday, you'll be able to catch him on Gareth's channel for it. Please get me to uh, watch along. And uh, yeah, tomorrow, uh, you'll be able to catch me and my good buddy Scott, the movie critic, 
on my channel, 101 Bronson, um, for a discussion of the of our favorite Sylvester Stallone characters and movies and everything Stallone related, really. <laughs> nice. I'm setting my notification. Notify me. Right. No, I have you as um. What's the word? All. Anyway. Oh, with but, the um, with the bell thingy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're, you're you're an all. Um, <laughs> But I'm um, doing Notify Me live in 20 hours' time on the 101 Brunson, Brunson channel. Indeed. And uh, just people saying goodbye. Oh, wait. Uh, let's quickly get this one. If any pool by your son, yeah, that was it. I uh, wasn't impressed by That's what uh, Ramon is saying. Yeah. Fear uh, Drum is awesome ahead of its time, but they say that a lot of his movies. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah they do, they do. Uh, yes, indeed. Have a. Have a great uh, night. Uh, yeah, thanks great, everyone. Great remainder uh, of the weekend, everybody. And yeah, awesome comments. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, Ramon, uh, Michael Myers, uh, who's saying existence. I don't remember liking much, but not not a Jude Law fan. Yeah. Uh, Rough Rock Forever, indeed. Yeah, and uh, thank you for watching to uh, Fifty Nine Survivor VHS. Um, what else are we have in here? Let's let's quickly scroll back. Uh, scroll back quite a bit. Oh, there we go. Uh, Chai, uh, Chai White, I hope I pronounced that correctly once again. Gareth was here watching. Um, see, I think I'm missing somebody. Um, oh, yeah, the bot files. The bot files. We had the bot files watching. Um, yeah, I think that's everybody. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Have a great remainder of the night, uh, evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are in the world. Um, <laughs> and yeah. We'll be back soon. Let's uh, keep it on topic for tomorrow's stream. As Stallone would say, keep punching. And uh, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you soon. We'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, Matt, for joining me. And thanks, everybody. And uh, adios. <laughs> adios. <laughs> thanks, man. I'll have a click it twice, of course.